Much better. Thank you. Okay. Well, we'll have a little bit more challenges this way, but uh, we're in the hotel. We came to the hotel thinking we were going to have much better um, reception, I guess, but I guess that's not the case here. But what I wanted to guess, I guess I'll quickly just say that I was recognizing those of you that participated in the Rock Your Socks, how proud we are for you guys to participate. We had over 50 people actually achieve and earn Rock Your Socks. And so we just want to say it works. It's great to get, you know come together in the new year for 2020. So we want to just say here's an opportunity today to talk to some people that are taking a giant leap in their business. So as Joanne had shared, uh, we got a really great day and program uh, ready for you. But one of the things that we love about Longevity is the opportunity to step up and shine and reach for the stars. And so I just wanted to recognize some of the stars in Longevity right here, right now. And we have a record-breaking list of people who have actually qualified um, as our sales associate, senior associate, as well as our one stars. So I know there's a big list here, but I just think it's important to hear their name out loud. And so I just want you guys in the background cheering these guys on. But in New, Z New Zealand alone, as our senior associates, uh, sorry, sales associates, is we had Cinnamon Bark, Joe Nelson, and Melanie Olson. I just want to say congratulations to you guys in there. And, and to our new Australia, we got a big lineup of Matt Boogerman. We have Michelle Wallace, Leanne McFarlane, Ma uh, Melody Vit Viley. Sherilyn Heiss, Annette Harvey, Cassandra Walker. I know you guys are on the call, some of you. Congratulations. Tiffany Waters, Lisa McHenry, as well as Carrie Trounson, Stacy Tep Panina, Tepina, love the name, yeah. Te Tepinati, and Cheryl Sheen, Samantha Bray, Kylie Fairbrother, Louise Elliott, uh, Dashia, Dashia Osborne, Tony Grofsky, Tracy Vine, uh, Sarah Comley, or Comlick, you're going to have to practice these names, Robin Williamson, and Lauren Marie Shenley Andres Wartha. Oh my goodness, I apologize if I didn't get that right. But Michelle Ferris, Rebecca Balzer, Aaron Crowder, and Grassi Densi, Desensi, and Desiree Britz. Now, there are sales associates for longevity, that means they've gone out there themselves and done their 100 QV, 150 QV, and got three people with three uh, with a 50 QV as our sales associate. And what happens when you get to sales associate and you get a thousand QV? We become a senior associate. So in Australia, we had five new senior associates, which is Julianne Nicholson. Oh, this is New Zealand. Pardon me. In New Zealand, Julianne Nicholson, Kirsty Scott, Darcy Larson and Charlotte Lavender, which as we know is CJ, uh, Lavender Ames and Maxwell Snook. And then in, um, here we go, in Australia, we had Holly Connors, Shannon Johnson, Anne Chaplin, Devanchi Shaw, Tracy Fordham, Carla Fay, as well as Carl Handerbra, Helen Webb, Sam Whiting, Alicia Jennings, Laura Smith, Catherine Mason, Bronwyn Clinton, and Lisa Wilson. So I know that was a big list, but we just think- That's awesome. This is that's our, our biggest list ever. Biggest list as ever. Uh, we wanna welcome the Beanie U team that's a part of that as well. But again, we had Australia, New Zealand, Longevity Down Under just smash this for the month of January. So we just wanna see it only get better. Now in that, as we talk about Reach for Their Stars, we had three fabulous women become one star and first of uh, February. And so we wanna honor them as Angela Lynch, Nicole, Nikki Morris and Tamara Slade. A huge congratulations. We will hear from Tamara a little bit later on being our newest one star, but we just wanted to say outstanding and congratulations. Now, as I move on to our other category that we have, which is our 300 club. And I've had the opportunity to post our 300 club, but we had some first time achievers on our 300 club. And I just want you guys to know if you've achieved 300 club, it's about becoming consistent on achieving it, not just once, but twice, three times every month. It really is the foundation of growing our business of new business. And that's why we reward our new business. And so we had some people achieve that. I posted that on our, on our page. 
Um, but I'm just going to quickly go through the list of Maxwell Snook, Darcy Larson, Tracy Vine, Tamara Slade, Samantha Brake, Sam Whiting, Renee Hills, Michelle Wallace, um, Melanie Viney, as well as Kylie Fairbrother, Catherine Mason, Carrie Present, Holly Connors, Devonchi Shaw, Claire Stiles, Chris Morris, Cassandra Walker, Bronwyn Clinton, Bonnie Swadling, Ann Chaplin, Alicia Jennings, Annette McFargan, as well as, oh sorry, then it's the people who achieved it three times was Annette McFargan, Tanya Stiles, Linda Morris, and Robin Olson. So you guys, we just wanna say we honor you. We know that this is a program that is implemented for your success. You guys got to enjoy the free shipping. And so we want you guys to know moving on into the month of March to support and honor the 300 Club. We are going to continue with the free shipping, but we've tweaked it for you on um, adding an extra bonus to it. But what we've done as far as adding the bonus is that the first 50 customers and the person, the distributor that got the first 50 customers, uh, new customers, is also going to receive a Gigi Hill new laundry tote. Um, and so it's like a $47 gift. So that means we're giving out 100 of them and it's for the first 50. So those of you that go out there get new customers. Now that is sales of wholesale of 165 Australian inclusive of GST and 172.50 for New Zealand wholesale. And for retail, it's $198 retail and it's 100 uh, for Australia and it's $207 for New Zealand. And that's included on social selling. So again, we want you guys to know that we want to continue honoring you guys for 300 Club. So get the information out there, which is fabulous. The other program I just want to keep promoting and highlighting is our Healthy Body program, uh, where if you get three people on the Healthy Body Pack, you receive yours for free. And there's no better reason to earn your products for free in longevity as far as your 90 for life, which we think is our absolute core product. product. And that's, you guys got the testimonies to make that work. So before I pass this on to Joanne, as you see our t-shirts, 100% better with longevity down under. Um, Friday was the last chance to get in on your t-shirts. I know some of you were able to qualify for some, but those of you that want a t-shirt and can purchase them, we're gonna allow you to get that order form in. As long as it's in by Monday morning before we place our orders, um, they're $20. We can ship them in your next shipment. Or if you want to get them ASAP, you can pay the $15 shipping and handling for the t-shirts. So before I move on, that's enough for me. Um, Joanne has come from headquarters office and has got some fantastic information for you. So Joanne, please share. Fantastic. We're just going to start off with some new products that we've got. Exciting that we have been looking forward to. A lot of you have been looking forward to that the hot chocolate keto has arrived and we'll be able to purchase in the next few days. Tracy will publish a list on our Facebook with a full list of the new products um, when they become available later next week. We've got three new pressed powders from our mineral makeup range, six new lip lock glossy lipsticks, and we've got our aroma shares for the next few months here already. So they will go out to the aroma share and we've got a fantastic speaker coming up on aroma share later soon i guess uh, the chocolate fit shakers in for those who are wanting that again that will be available for us to start sending out in the next few days that's a huge win <laughs> that's a really big win <laughs> let me work those on behind the scenes to get these products in so on the other hand there's all the new products coming in which is very exciting on the other hand we've got scrapbooking which is sort of a sunset product and we are going to be heavily discounting a number of line items there and again we'll publish those by the end of next week start of the week after on what we're going to uh, heavily discount up to 70 percent off a number of our scrapbooking items uh, as we reduce that list of products to our core products also on our shipment now we've got our plant dried minerals come in that we were out of for a while we've got our root beer belly come in so that they will be coming out to you um, in the next days for anyone who has been waiting for those products. The Pest Be Gone, a few people have asked about the Pest Be Gone, which is an animal uh, product for ticks and fleas, and that we have we had, had in, in New Zealand to send out to our Australian friends. That then is being looked at now as a pharmaceutical, animal pharmaceutical product, 
And so we're working with customs very hard. Believe it or not, every few days, we're getting asked for more information on the product so that we can prove that we can bring it in without a veterinary license. So that is getting near to uh, completion and we hope to have that in soon. Uh, but at the moment, that is still on back order. But you guys will be the first to know when it is available. Absolutely. So with regards to the back orders, we inform and advise, or Tracy does, uh, when, they, when they're important back orders. For example, when the plant drive minerals were out for a little while, Previously, we had the osteo liquid was out, and that's sort of worldwide. That wasn't just that wasn't just us. So we publish when they're important products in our core product range. We certainly let the field know, and that's when we let Tracy know to let you guys know. We used to have very large numbers of back orders, and that um, it's for anyone that's been around a long time will know that is dramatically reduced. Looking at our promotions that we've done over the last two months, or last month really, I guess, is that very successful, our Australia Day and Waitangi promotion, which is the Australia Day and New Zealand's National Day, Waitangi Day. We had a promotion that ran over that period with the spices, the make, take and freeze, and that was extremely successful. Our Valentine's Day promotion, we bought a hot chocolate and got a free cardio. That also was loved by all the heart heart lovers out there. Anyone who was at the Leaders Summit a month or so ago in Sydney will know that we raised money for the bushfire appeals that have been uh, devastating parts of Australia over the last two months and probably more to come possibly. We raised $1,450 amongst our distributors with some product that we sold to them and Longevity is matching that. We have donated that to the Salvation Army, the Red Cross, and the animal charity that's being run for the bushfires. Yeah, so well done everybody. In our head office, we're continuing to improve uh, our inventory control, for example, that is why the back orders have been so greatly reduced, and customer service. As you guys know, and the amount of compliments I get about our customer service team are greatly increasing, and Tracy, I guess you hear that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And think to two years ago, you know how, how it was and just how much we've improved. We have far less complaints. Mm -hmm. um, we're not 100%, but we're definitely 100% better. Um, With service. And I'm super yeah. proud of the service that we have. Yes. So, an example of that is just February month ended yesterday for work days, and that was the first month in Longevity's history, New Zealand, Australia, that we had a zero dropped calls in the whole month during our opening hours. So that was a massive win for the team and very excited uh, that they worked really hard to get to that point. And, and so, yeah. and they celebrate that in there. They're so proud to be able to achieve that for you guys. For that, you, yeah. That, no, we don't lose any calls and the, uh, to showcase and share how important everybody is. So. Absolutely. So we're really excited in head office um, as the year goes on and there's new cool stuff coming up all the time and we get involved in it and there's other news that will be coming out over the next week or two, two weeks yes. uh, that we'll be able to share as it, as it gets finalised. So we're looking forward to all of that. Excellent. And Thank you. Are we going to pass over to yeah. Deb? Well, let, before we move to our next speaker, I just want to let everybody know that as of uh, tomorrow, uh, you guys should receive an email that is going to highlight the 300 Club of uh, how, you know, the availability somebody needs to, because I don't have access now, I can't mute who just entered. Um, but you guys will get an email about the 300 Club on the free shipping and the bonus gift. You'll also receive the top 100 list. I have posted it on Facebook, but you'll also receive an email on that with the updated Slender FX bundle. Um, and then the other new news we just kind of wanted to share is that we will be featuring for the next three months, the first Friday of every month, uh, fashion Friday. So what we will be highlighting is in our fashion verticals, Mia Alicia, the mineral makeup, as well as the Gigi Hill, we will be offering some buy one get ones. And um, so what I will say is on our next Thursday's email that you usually get for our double deals, we will launch our Fashion Friday on what will be the promotions that will help support you guys in not only for yourselves, but sharing with your customers in your field some beautiful products from different verticals. So we do hope you enjoy that program. We've put it for three months based on managing and monitoring the success of it. It just runs for the one day. 
So check your emails and get, get, get onto it on that day. Yep. So you'll get it Thursday. So it gives you a heads up days off, day to do it. And it'll be available for Friday. And I believe we've discussed that we'll possibly let you guys have it till orders till Monday morning, but it is considered a one day sale. So yes. that's how fantastic we, we, that's how we roll. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Well, we're on time. So the feature and focus is with our fabulous nature direct and aroma share. So I have had the privilege and the pleasure of working with Deb Flanagan that has been in the industry for over 30 years. She loves her nature direct product. She's a real champion um, coming on board and saying yes, to demonstrating with you. And then we have a very special little video for you guys after uh, her presentation. So, Cutest thing you'll see today. Yes. And so Deb, are you there, gorgeous girl? And what do you have for us? There you go. Can you hear me? Yay. Okay. Um, first of all, I've been with uh, Nature Direct since, since we started. Um, and as a Nature Direct distributor, our, our role is more of an education role to educate people about uh, the products and making conscious informed decisions um, on what you're buying for your family. Um, for me, I didn't, my nana used bleach and my mum used bleach and I had no idea that it, it wasn't, wasn't good for us. Uh, what I've decided, what I did learned about longevity, hang on, about Nature Direct, let me just do this, um, was, was that the warning labels are so important. So one of the things I've grabbed out of my kit are things like Domestos. You see that? Up here is a caution label, and Domestos actually contains 700 and, oh, 750 mil, just uh, 49, what is that here? Sodium hypochlorite. Now, I can tell you a story about that, but I won't on here. So you can message me about that if you want to know that story. But it has 49.9 grams per litre and of sodium hypochlorite, which is a really poison product. Now, overseas, it's been banned domestically for um, in a couple of the uh, US states and some of the European countries so but we're allowed to have it here we seem to be a bit uh, get all the leftovers from other seas overseas when they're banned um things like mr muscle mr muscle this one says it's odorless and non-caustic but it has a massive big caution sign so if you're looking at products and hopefully you will you'll become more aware of this now that say caution poison warning that's the level of warning it doesn't actually tell you on the back what's in it but um, you can tell the warning by particularly the fact that it has it on the front in great big font um, some of the less toxic are, are on the back um, and the really less toxic the first ingredient is water um, when you have a product like this which I don't actually, I don't know, but if, and I have trouble reading this, I usually hand it to somebody else to read who doesn't have glasses. Um, but it basically says on the warning section here, avoid contact with food, food utensils, may irritate eyes, avoid, avoid spraying their eyes. Before using this product in your home, use in one room only for 24 hours to ensure that there's no physical reaction to the product. Asthma and allergy sufferers, um, consult your doctor before using this product and remove your birds before, it, um, before using and well ventilate the room after the area is treated. So most people don't read the warnings on their cleaning products. Um, whereas many of us do read the warnings on uh, the food labels these days. So if you've ever felt dizzy washing your shower, and I've heard some horrific stories about people falling over and breaking glass and passing out in the shower. And also, you know, you might've felt lightheaded doing your, 
your oven. Like you find a way to turf all these products because both of those products you can use now with your heavy duty cleaner. I probably should say make sure everyone's got a pencil and paper because there's a lot of little things I want to tell you about. Um, getting back to the products, you can, and I should, I should have got them for you. The 125 mil concentrate makes five bottles of, of product. Um, so they range from about between 30 and $40 for the concentrate, also depending on whether they're wholesale or retail. Um, then there's a 250 ml bottle, which is what a lot of people get the second time round because 125 comes in the packs. The 250 ml or the 500 ml. And I say to people sometimes that have been to one of my um, show and goes that if your family's here, your, your sister or your mum, get a 500 ml bottle and, and share it into your smaller bottles with your family. Um, but one of the good things is, is when in you're doing a, um, a social and you have a $75 order, you can choose something for half price. So it's good getting the two 50 ml bottle refills for half price because basically you're getting two for the price of one. Um, another little thing that I do in my tips is every time you get an order, and these grow in my cupboard, um, a little measuring cup. So Ideally, what you do is you fill the water, the bottle to the shoulder of the bottle and then you put in 25 mil. Now, I wear glasses, so I put a text mark on my 25 mil so I can see it without my glasses because they're pretty hard. The little medicine numbers are a bit hard to read sometimes. So that's just something that you might like to uh, have a think about. Uh, the great thing about the super strength for me is it does the bath, the basin, the shower, the oven, the microwave, the fridge. It, it just replaces so many bottles that are under the sink. I mean, I've done uh, demos before where you say, do you mind if we get the bottles under your sink and we pop it on top and we say, well, this one bottle will replace that and that and that and that and that. The other great thing about it is that your kids can clean with them as well. Little children love cleaning glass. So, uh, sorry, let me just jump back one sec. On the super, on the heavy duty cleaner, the idea is, and I remember oh, 12 years ago, Jeanette said, here, try this, this is our new product. I sprayed it on, I wiped it off with a sponge, which I never use these days, but I did. And I rang her and I said, we can't talk about this, it doesn't even work. And she said, no, 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 what you're supposed to do is leave it on. Leave it on for a few minutes. Because what it does is the solution in it lifts up the dirt and then you can wipe it away with a microfiber cloth. So in the shower, and we used to do little demos, we don't do them these days, but you'd spray the super strength on and then I'd grab my little bit of a razor block, which I don't know, just from... What I do is I cut, I, I score it with a knife in four and then four, and then I just break off little bits every time I need it. But that, on somebody's really grotty shower, um, spray on your super strength, get your little bit of a razor block, do a porthole in the dirt, in the greasy, in the shower scum, and it's just amazing demonstration of how it works. So... The super strength and the eraser block is a must have in your home. I just couldn't live without it, to be honest with you. In fact, my daughter has just moved up to New South Wales like a month ago and she had so much stuff stacked in that car after, and after the truck left that she forgot her cleaning container and she's really missing, missing her products. Um, particularly because, um, Natalia, my granddaughter, we've discovered last year she's anaphylactic to alcohol. At 13, that's probably not a bad thing because Nanny said, if you're allergic to alcohol, you'll be allergic to drugs. So I don't think you should try them either. And the reason we found out she was allergic to alcohol was an alcohol swab that she had when she had an injection. So makeup, hand sanitizer, like, oh, 
you know, hang on. Our hand sanitizers, just happen to have one with me. Um, she can use this hand sanitizer because it has no alcohol. And actually at the moment, it seems to be that you can't buy alcohol hand sanitizers anywhere from what I'm gathering from news reports and the radio. Um, but we have it. So I ordered a couple of bottles of, a few bottles of this. And then what you do is it's all made up and you order either a five or a 10 mil bottle and you fill them up. So I did that too. I filled some up um, and I've given them to the kids. And they're probably, soon I think because they're such a secret and no one knows about them, that's the only reason that we're going to be able to get san hand sanitizer when everybody else isn't at this point. Um, I'm over there. One of, what else can I say? Um, oh, I've got such a whole list here of, of, the, of stories. Um, just to think about the, the super streak though. Um, You're going to anyway. give me a spaghetti bolognese story. Oh yeah, that. I, I've got that on my list. Um, did I, did I just, sorry, did I, I just can't remember what I said. Did I just say that the, it makes up five bottles? I did that, didn't I? The concentrate makes five bottles? Yeah. Yes, you did. So the hand, uh, the hand sanitizer, um, the spaghetti bolognese, what happened one day was my son came home and my diary was kind of half sitting on the end of the coffee table. So he plonks his spaghetti bolognese on my diary and it flipped over on my pale green carpet and I had red spaghetti stains everywhere. And I'm thinking, anyway, I'll see how good these products work because it was early in the piece. So what I did, I actually mopped up as much as I could and left the big red stain, then soaked it with paper towel. But what you do then is you spray it with carpet and upholstery cleaner, massage it in a bit, and then at a hot um, microfiber cloth, and fold it into squares. And if you're using a, when you use the microfiber swap, cloth, it's best to fold them into squares because then you just use a bit, turn it over, turn it inside out, use another bit. But you actually roll it. And that's when you're getting things out of the carpet, massage it in and then roll it out. And I saw this square and I took a photo of it and it was just awesome because it was just took the sauce out. So I washed it out, did the whole lot and actually removed this red tomato sauce uh, out of the green carpet, which was just such an exciting time for me, really. Um, the other thing is the glass cleaner. The glass cleaner is the glass cleaner is great for school holidays because kids love cleaning glass. And we've heard some terrible stories about, oh, this lady who's let her child spray Windex underneath the glass table. And of course, it comes down on them. Um, Windex, oh no, I shouldn't say the name, um, is actually designed to attract dust. I have a girlfriend who has a hairdressing salon and the dust that is, and she said that we were doing it all the time. Every couple of days we were cleaning the mirrors. And I said, we'll try this and see what happens. And then she didn't have to do it for two weeks. So it actually repels the dust. I've had customers who live on dirt roads that have got very dusty glass, glass tables. And they said, oh, this is really good because you clean it and then you just wipe it over with a dusting cloth and it's way better than the, the others. In fact, I had a lady who did her windows and then a bird flap flew it straight into her window because she didn't even see it. Um, the, oh, I um, told you about the measuring cup. The, the glass cleaner is also great for stainless steel and wood. Um, I use it on my wooden table, but my daughter has floorboards. Now, one of the things um, with the super strength that comes with the mop floor system is that it has that colloidal action. So it's actually got the film. If you've got highly polished sports floorboards, the glass cleaner comes um, is amazing. And also the, the glass cleaner and the spray and wipe are streak free. So if you're looking for a streak free product, those two are really good for that as well. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, Father's Day. Oh, we don't have Father's Day coming up really, but 
if you want to get something to dad for Easter that hasn't got chocolates, make up something for the barbecue kit, like the super strength heavy duty cleaner and a tough guy cloth and an eraser or something like that. They make the barbecues come up awesome. Um, what else? The other thing too, as um, the kids, school holidays coming up, I said they love glass, they love mopping. My little Ethan, he just takes the middle, the middle bit out of the floor system. That makes it that much shorter for the kids to use. You can pay them or they just like doing it anyway. Um, and then the other thing too is the Enviro, uh, the Enviro, am I running out of time? The, no, I'm not watching the time. You have, uh, you, you have uh, like two more minutes so we can show the video. Oh, okay. Well, the Enviro, uh, the Breathe Easy is a really important, particularly at the moment for us with winter coming up because it takes in the dust, the pollen, the air, and um, puts out fresh, clean air. The Enviro Mist and the Enviro Air that's in the, in the Breathe Easy is so important. And if this um, virus is as big as it's going to be, let me tell you, every one of you need to have one of these to, to clean the air in your house and keep it clean. Um, okay, the floor system. I love the floor system. The kids love the floor system. Everybody loves the floor system. Um, when Jana moved into state, I mentioned that earlier, we used it to clean the walls. We use it to clean the roof. We used it to clean the shower. We use it, we use it to clean our cars. We use it, I've seen people use it for their horse floats, their caravans. I've seen people use it on this, you know, their, um, what are they, what are those? I don't have any, I can't think what it's called. You know, on your roof, solar panels. Um, there's so many things that you can use your floor system for. Um, and it's a great school holiday activity. Um, so what I what I found with the floor system, with the prop, with the with the mop, and it actually one of the great things is that it spins in the spinner so fast that you actually end up with a pretty dry mop. When we first got them, my mum had had a fall after mopping the floor. Mum's 88 now, and she's funny because she puts her water in and and leaves it in the linen press, which is and she just uses it every day to cook same water to clean her little bit of floor that she has because it spins out so fast, it dries super quick. So if you've got kids and pets on a wet floor, this is awesome because it actually just dries the, um, the floor so quickly. So, and if you've got your eraser block and you've got this, there's just so many applications around the house. And if you want more ideas, just give me a call. But it's, um, I, I, don't, I don't know, I've got so much, if you, if you want to talk to me later, about any of this, let me know. Um, the Hero Pack's awesome because you can pick up a whole lot of products in there, including the Breathe Easy. And actually, you can get the floor system for half price, can't you? And with a $75 order on social selling, can't you? Yes. yes. And I think it's $27 to have it shipped. So when you're getting it for half price, it's a really good idea. Is that okay? <laughs> Well, you just launched something extra special, and that is what we wanted to share with everybody, is that it's the first time that you will be able to actually order the floor system at half price. Oh, I didn't realize. Customer, uh, at $75, or I guess $85 with GST, uh, be able to order the floor system, which is really exciting to wow. be able to offer that, as well as the hostesses that uh, can take it as the host credit. So if they got $80 worth of host credit, they only have to pay the difference plus the shipping on the host credit. So that's what we're super excited about the floor system, uh, that more people can try it, love it. And so I just wanted to say thank you because you sent me this video. So I have to share this video because as you were saying, kids love to help out. And so I just thought this was the best thing that, to share. So I'm just gonna bring over my screen here. So bear with me, everybody. And I just got to move this over so I can see it right here. This is so awesome. Here we go. Let's make this big. Are you guys ready? I hope it plays well. It's really easy. Let's start. And if you want more videos at the end, please like the video. 
you start. You can start off with doing this, and then you can you don't need the rock part anymore, the long part. And then you just unscrew this. You won't get this anymore. You put that down. Turn this back on. Tuck the top part back on. And then, just in case you've forgotten, you stick it in this side. And then once again, stick it right in. Okay. Very cute. We just loved him so much. Good job, Ethan. Yeah, thank you, Ethan. <laughs> and that is your grandson, I understand. Is that correct? It is oh. the one that just moved to New South Wales. <laughs> oh, oh. Did you get out? Uh oh. Sorry, sorry. What's happening here? She wrote, quote, for years, he was my monster. She just, oh. <laughs> sorry about that. I guess the, the next video played after it. <laughs> you gotta love internet. All right, so let's just get back to where we were at and just say thank you, Deb. That's really appreciate that. Again, highlighting that the floor mop system, we would love to see some more videos of kids demonstrating uh, the floor Absolutely. mop system or any of the cleaning uh, aspects of that. So, um, so I just wanna say thanks again for that and I uh, will look forward to shipping out many of those floor mops to everybody, so stay tuned. Now we are waiting for, for some reason, my camera has just gone really super small and I gotta make it big here. So just bear with me here. Meeting controls. Where's, where's the stop share? Oh, stop share, that's what it is. Sorry guys, there we go. Excellent. So I just wanted to see if we have our next guest speaker here on the call, which I am just double checking to see if Leanne is here. So Leanne is going to be sharing with us um, on the aroma share. So until we can see her on here, um, I'm just going to share a few bits and bobs about what we have going on. I don't know if you guys noticed, we did post um, the aroma share club uh, agenda for the next 12 months. We've tweaked it to be uh, more down under with the right wording and the right, I guess, seasons as well. But we want you guys to know that this aroma share club is something we're quite proud of. We want to promote more of it. It really comes from you guys. And um, we know that, that they range around 60 to $80. But you, and, you, and people love it. The people that get it love it and recommend it. Yes. So it's really, it's very cool. It's very cool that we now have got them ready for the next couple of months to go. Yeah. And Leanne will no doubt talk about that. Yes, which we're hoping she hops on soon. So she's in Missouri time, so it's 8.45 there. Uh, but the also thing we wanted to share about it is it's usually valued almost like up to $130 to $150. They, they range, but you also get products in the Aroma Share uh, essential oils that actually aren't available for sale. So you actually get some exclusive blends um, in the Aroma Share products that we have. So that's something else. And so just because we want to really promote and highlight it for the first 10 people who go and I guess register themselves for the Aroma Share for the month of March, we are adding an extra beautiful mystery essential oil um, as a bonus. So again, that's the first 10 people who to... register through customer service by emailing them so that we know who the first 10 are. Excellent. So the first 10, so get it in there before Monday. If you've never done Aroma Share and you want to be a part of the Aroma Share Club, uh, definitely get on board with that. So. So First let's tend to email customer service with their order. Excellent. Thank you, Joanne. Okay, so Ella Leanne, do we have Leanne King, our essential oils ambassador? Do we have her here on here? So I'm still not seeing her, so I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully we don't have times uh, wrong. I know she was doing a summit retreat. Um, this weekend, but she said she would come and join us. So while we're waiting on that, then I guess I want to share, maybe I'll share what I was going to share at the end. Um, as we talk about, you know how I was talking about leap year being four years, where do you see yourself for the next four years? I don't know if anybody actually knows the bamboo story. 
Some of you may know the bamboo story, and if you don't, I def definitely want you to Google the bamboo story so you can actually see it. And there's two parts to this bamboo story I want to share with you guys. Did you guys know that a bamboo actually, um, where the word bamboo shoot comes from, that it actually takes four to five years of a bamboo rooting system to actually do its thing before it actually, it actually starts growing. And so if you were planting bamboo and you're a gardener and your neighbor saw you every day watering, spending time every single day doing a bit of watering but never seeing any results, your neighbors probably would think you're crazy, right? And so much like network marketing, we spend a little bit of time every day in our business, a little bit of time in our business every day, and not necessarily everybody sees results straight away. But did you know after those four to five years of continually growing in that root system of the bamboo, that within the next year, it becomes the fastest, tallest plant in history and the most strongest as well. That it grows an inch a day, then it grows two inches a day, like it, the growth period magnitudes daily and becomes out of control. And I'd like to think that that is what your business is actually like. And that you guys, that what, all the things that you guys are working hardly, hard on daily, daily, that in the next four to five years that you guys are going to actually see your business grow and explode much like a bamboo shoot. So I'm definitely going to give you guys the opportunity to go and share that and, uh, and read up on it in there. So, so do we have Leanne on here yet? Leanne, we are loving and looking forward to having you share. And I'm not seeing her just yet. But what we might do is I see Michelle Graham is on here and we got 15 more minutes before we have the fabulous Scott and Juliet for do list. So Michelle, can you unmute yourself? Let's take the opportunity to uh, do your presentation right now and um, share with everybody what we were going to share and talk about. So Michelle Graham, are you there? Gorgeous. Yes. G'day, Trip Tracy. How are you, how are you going? I am fine <laughs> and fabulous. Thank you for saying yes to me and sharing. I just thought we'd do a little interview with you because how long have you been with Longevity, Michelle? Uh, nearly four years. Nearly four years. And I know you have a great product story. So before we move on, on to the other questions, you shared yesterday your product story. Um, I, I know the people on this call, you know, especially the new ones and the ones from BNU would love to hear how uh, in, in, in you as a woman. Yeah. Well, before we started with Longevity, we were taking uh, around about 12 different other supplement powders about four different supplement pills and a couple of different liquids every month and uh, well every day we back then we went for a full body scan with a metagenics scanning uh, system and my results came back showing that I was biologically eight years older than my actual age which shocked me a bit considering you know how much supplementation we were doing uh, but Bearing in mind, I'd worked in the printing industry around toxic fumes and chemicals for 40 years. So uh, I think the supplements weren't able to keep up with the amount of detoxification I needed. Anyway, shortly after that, a friend showed us Dr. Wallach's Healthy Start Pack. And when we read the labels, we just thought, oh my God, this is just a, a no brainer. We've got to get onto this because it just made everything so simple. And so we got onto that. We actually started with an anti-aging CEO pack, which I'm really glad I did because I kept on with the Immortalium and the Cell Shield. And within two years, we went back and had our scan done again. And this time round, my biological age was nine years younger. So a 17 year age reversal. So, you know, I'm more than thrilled with with the results I've had. So that's my you can tell. Point. You can tell, and now I'm not gonna say your age, but I definitely know you're older than me, but I think you look like you're 29, like 39 <laughs> max. And I believe you. It, it, it is, it just really shows uh, the difference that it's certainly made in, in your, your, your yeah. physical appearance, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Never mind. how do you feel overall? Because you know. Well, I swim one to two kilometers, six days a week. And then we'll walk, you know, a few kilometres every afternoon. Um, I, I've got a cycle under my computer desk. So I cycle throughout the day because I'm sitting so much. And um, 
run around after my grandkids. So yeah, I feel pretty good. Uh, you look good and you are active. And I know you run your longevity business full time and put a yep. lot of energy and effort to your team. You've got a magnif magnificent team and it is, you know, stretches all across New Zealand, Australia, and you guys even travel. So I know it takes a lot to keep up, never mind health wise, uh, so you can appreciate the well side. Well, why I asked you to join us is something is that you and Sam both consistently not only are always achieving your, your one star, but you guys are always achieving your car bonus. That's and, right. You know, we know getting to one star is a really good step, but having a strong team is qualifying for this um, car bonus. So can you share what you guys do to actually make sure and that you guys actually achieve uh, and qualify your car bonus every month? Well, firstly, when we've got new people coming in and, and a person says to me, uh, I want my whole family to come on, on board, I would then at that point suggest one of the family members becomes a distributor and then they join up um, the rest of the family under them because down the track, you are going to need um, six distributors every month buying and not all your distributors are going to buy every month. So the more people you can get on board joining as distributors, it will pay off down the track. Uh, the other part that is a really good uh, thing for a family to consider doing that is that they might get a free pack in that first month if there's four family members joining. And then every month thereafter, they're going to get a little bit of a discount because the family member at the top of the, the ladder is going to get paid on what the rest of the family purchases each month. So that's another incentive why you might talk to a, a family uh, and invite them to become, you know, at least one of them is a distributor. Uh, and then after that, uh, like I actually had this instance on, uh, well, yesterday or Thursday, we had five distributors in one of our businesses and we needed one more to get to that six distributors we needed for the car bonus. And so I then went to uh, the genealogy and the volume totals and I had a look at what volume was happening under various distributors. And I saw that one distributor was not or had not bought in the month, but she had three customers that had bought under her and she was due for a good commission payment. Uh, so I texted her and I just said, just letting you know that, you know, you've got three customers that are bought under you and, uh, unless you have an order of 100 QV, you won't be eligible for the commission payments due. She immediately jumped on board and, and bought in her name. So that got us our six distributors that we needed for the car bonus. So towards the end of the month, I'm continually logging into the back office and I'm checking on, firstly, I go to the commissions and my bonus qualifications area and I'm checking two lines there. I, I need to look at my personally enrolled brand associates and my personally enrolled qualified personal customers. And I need to have six brand associates and I need to have six personal customers. You need to have a total of 12. Now, if you had 12 brand associates, you would then only need five personal customers but you've definitely got to have a minimum of six brand associates there um, personally enrolled. So as I said, leading up to the end of the month, I'm continually logging in, checking on, on the progress there. And then I jump into the, um, the genealogy volume report, see what's happening there. And I'll start ringing our distributors and just checking in with them, see what they're doing, you know, um, tell them how they're going with their volume. And uh, yeah, it, every month it seems to line up. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, we know you work hard and you you're really very hard. Yeah, and we recognize that and we, that you're incredibly dedicated to helping everybody achieve and know this is out. And I love it that Sam works so well on not leaving money on the table. Yes. And, 
you know, you guys operate as a team. You both have one star status with other one stars underneath you. You guys always qualify. Um, yeah. You know, so this is something you've managed. Can you maybe share before I let everybody go? I let you go. Is um, what is it that you love about the leadership role that you have? What is it that you love about longevity and your leadership role? Uh, well, I love helping other people uh, work towards. Be having more time freedom you know we've got a, a couple of distributors in Sydney well one of them he is a one star uh, but he's presently got his business for sale and he ultimately wants to travel just playing um, billiards he loves billiards but he wants to have a sideline income while he does that and uh, you know he's seen that a lot of the billiards players are in a lot of pain <laughs> and he can see that longevity is such a wonderful business to go hand in hand with his passion. And uh, I've really helped him along the way. Uh, we, you know, he'll, he'll get the people and then um, I'll do the follow up with, with the intellectual knowledge that he's missing to get his people purchasing and, and staying as long term customers. So, you know, I love working as a team and I, and I love the excitement that I experience in people when they have their customers ringing and saying, you know, this has happened, that has happened, you know, long-term pain of 20 years is gone and people are getting out and able to do things that they couldn't do for many, many years. And they're so excited at the, you know, at how they're helping other people. So it's it always comes back to seeing change in people that that's what lights me up Excellent. well i can say in the last four years you and sam have definitely created a fantastic root system and you guys are totally ready to have that bamboo shoot explosion happen in your business yeah. well one another one thing that i do um i've got a little reminder system in my email program and uh I think I, I have about 50 people whom I remind each month about their auto ship and um, they are triggered an email from my computer five days before they're due uh, just to remind them. If I don't hear from them, I'll ring them to find out, you know, do they want to change anything and, uh, you know, are they okay for it to go ahead? If not, I manage that. You know, it takes quite a lot of effort to do that, but it means, uh, you know, you're not getting people dropping out. And, and also, too, you know, Sam just said to me this morning, he said, people really love, love it when you ring. Yeah. That you can <laughs> yeah. really hear in their voice yes. that they love to touch base with you and, you know, just connect. And, uh, you know, that's another thing, you know, you, you're making friendships all around Australia and New Zealand with this business. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you sharing that with us and taking time out of your day and your commitment, you know, to longevity and yourself being 100% better. So thank you for sharing about yep. the car bonus because that is a new improved tweaked program. And yep. we want everyone to know that on the email that will be going out tomorrow, that we will have the details explaining the car bonus and the benefits of everybody on the email. And the other thing that we can share, this is a little bit secret squirrel stuff since you guys are here. Um, we are almost there. Just watch in the near future. We are working on our forehead for mega back. And so someone who would want a healthy body, um, a health and bone, like the bone and joint pack, they could get a mega healthy body um, bone and joint pack. So that's in the near future. We have the four categories worked out. So it'll be like for a family could come on board and get a, a, a mega pack or someone who needs therapeutic dosing, they'll be yeah. able to buy a mega pack um, based on our four categories. So I, health, I health the health cat, the four health categories. So I just want you to know that specifically, Michelle, because I know it'll majorly impact you and your business. Great. Thank you. You're <laughs> Thank welcome. You.
Bye. Excellent. Thank you. So we are on the top of the hour. Uh, I know we have the fabulous Scott and Juliet for Doulas coming on board. So we might just take, let's just see if they are here yet. I know they're going to be coming, but uh, why don't we just take a, just a couple minute break here and I will let him know that we are live in five. So if you guys just want to take a quick little break, I'll put you guys on mute and hold and we'll be back in five and we will rock and roll with Scott and Juliet. All right. Okay, I think we are nearly there. It's good to see your numbers over 30. This is being recorded, which is super awesome. Let's just have a look here. We are, there we go. Okay. So what are you enjoying mostly about this call so far? Well, I loved hearing Michelle's passion because I see the other end of it. Mm. Lots of orders going out for her and her downline. And I absolutely loved some of the things Deb said about the Nature Direct products that I wasn't yeah. fully aware of. And that will make a difference for, for us. And of course, her gorgeous grandson, Ethan. Oh, yeah, that's so good. We'll have to post that. We have to maybe think of a, a maybe a strategy or some plans on rewarding 
those that are going to post their kids doing some demonstrations with that. I think that I think she's right. Kids do like cleaning. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. Fantastic. Well, I really appreciated our speakers so far. And I think Scott and his beautiful uh, wife are there. I see Juliet. So does that mean you guys are on? Let's just see. Yay. Are you ready? Yeah, we are ready. So Scott, Juliet, I just want to get confirmation. Oh, coming on now. Okay. So as we gear up for this fabulous duo, uh, we know they are our amazing brand ambassadors in Longevity USA. They superstars. Superstars. Absolute gentlemen. And she's an amazing lady. And they are so committed to their longevity business and the growth and operations of leadership development. So they've grown such a fantastic business in a short amount of time. They got an amazing story. And but, living, living what we will talk about. Yeah. And when I was there at the leader mastery that um, I attended of Scott and Juliet's last year, um, the event that they did was amazing. So if you can get yourself to Colorado for their leadership mastery in June, um, it was worth its time and, and, and just the commitment and the speakers was amazing. But I got to not only see the location of their new home that they're gonna be building um, in the middle of the most amazing golf course, mountains, picturesque. They're already living in a dream home, but this is apparently their dream location slash home. So uh, they definitely work in their business and they definitely know how to work with people. So let's see, I see Scott and Juliet, you guys are here. So I'm just talking about leadership master and you and your beautiful wife. And uh, how much we love you. So, Scott, welcome. Juliet, are you guys there? I don't see you guys yet, but I saw your name. Please join, Joanne and I. Hi, Joanne. Hey there. Oh, hi, Tracy. Thank you. For the, thanks so much for the warm welcome. Uh, well, thank you for joining us on your Friday night. You know, we just appreciate your guys' commitments so much. And we just appreciate you guys because, you know, you guys are going to share such amazing things and we all hang off our seats when you guys <laughs> yeah. share and we just can watch any of your old videos and still be satisfied but the fact that you guys have come live to us we just so want you to know how much we appreciate you thank you yeah we really do well thank you dracy thank you joanne it's good to see you all today and uh we're just thrilled to be here with you so thanks for the invitation um it is our late friday evening so i, I ask permission to be casual and it looks like uh, by the lights of it, uh, most of you are casual too. So that's good news. I, I was hoping I didn't have to dress up too much and Juliet the same. So um, I'm sure we missed some amazing training by just logging in right now. And you guys are so fortunate with all the things you have going on, the leadership you have, the opportunity you have in uh, Australasia at large. Um, personally, Juliet and I are just thrilled to welcome the Jamberry family and, and everyone from Ben AU. That is certainly exciting. Um, you'd be thrilled to know, um, all of you that are part of that organization just coming on board, that I was proud enough to put on my own nails from Jamberry. I, it's true, I sported them around for an entire day and I was so excited because um, I knew what this product line was gonna mean to all of our businesses and you have that product line. Uh, down in Australia and New Zealand now. I, how do I know? Because I checked out the app. We're going to talk about the app tonight. That's our topic. Or I say tonight. It's your day time. We're going to talk about the app today and show you some of the really cool things that we've learned with the app. And um, I'm going to do something that we've never really done before, and that's uh, do a screen share. So what I'd love for you to do is to not get distracted right now. So please don't get distracted. Don't go attempting to do this yourself and, and pull this off. Just watch the screen and let us let Juliet and I show you um, how we have leveraged one of the most amazing tools inside of Longevity. And I can tell you right now, it's completely underutilized, like way underutilized. And it is this really powerful social media app that I think we're gonna blow your minds with right now. Even if you're aware of its existence, I'll bet you you're not using it the way we're gonna show you how to use it. So let me just ask all of you to do this favor as well. Would you all mind turning on your cameras? I see tons of names, I see tons of photos, and I just feel like I'm talking to a wall. Like there's really nobody there, and that is like so boring, it's unbelievable. So you'll make this go so much better. If the, hello, Mandy, I see you. 
um, I, I love it to see that, that I'm actually interacting with somebody. So please turn your cameras on. I don't care what you've got going on in the background. As long as you're muted, it's irrelevant to me. I just want to feel like we're friends, like we got some energy, some mojo, some vibe going on. And it's just horrible talking to a, a, a wall full of names, like nobody's home. There we go. We got some cameras turning on. So come on, Tamara, CJ, uh, Beck, Ann. Um, let's get this thing rocking and rolling. Let's see some faces coming on board here. Uh, Jessica, Jackie, come on, Dev Flanagan, turn your camera on. Uh, Melanie, Robin, let's get it all going on here. There we go. Let's get some, let's get some energy on this call. So, all right, I, now the, the, the tricky part here, just bear with me for a second. I've got to, I've got to mute my screen over here that, that we're all tuned in on. And then I'm going to activate my phone so that you can see exactly what I see on this little device right here is exactly what you're going to see on your device. So don't go doing this without us teaching you first. So just watch your computer screen, but you're going to be seeing my telephone. And I think I've got this figure. I actually practiced this afternoon before getting on here because I, I was hoping not to embarrass ourselves too much. So um, let me do that. So everyone's lines are muted, right? Because there's going to be tons of reverberation if you're not muted. But still, I want to see the cameras turning on. So let's get some cameras going so we're all interacting. So bear with me. I'm going to click a couple buttons here. I've got to go to the link that uh, Dracy gave us. Here it is. So I'm turning that on. I'm going to mute my computer here. Let's just do a little test here. Are you, are you hearing me okay? Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to put in an earpiece so that I'm using this volume. So do another sound check. Can you hear me okay? Everybody here loud and clear? Okay, perfect. Thank you. See, that's why I like your cameras on because I can actually uh, see what's going on. Okay, now I hit, I hit do not disturb on my phone so you don't see anything embarrassing on here. Like if somebody's, you know, being really mean to me and that pops up in a text message, you wouldn't want to see all that nonsense. So I hit do not disturb. And now I'm going to go to this app right here. See this orange app right here? I'm putting it up to the, to the camera so you can see it. That is the Youngevity go-to app. Take a picture of that if you're afraid of uh, not remembering what it is. How do you get that app? You can go to the App Store. So if you've got an Android, if you've got an Apple iPhone, you can go to the App Store and you download the Youngevity Go, as in G-O, the number two, Youngevity Go to, and you will see that pop up. So what you want to do, Scott, Scott, we can't see your screen. We've just got your pretty photo. Oh, okay. Well, we'll fix that. So right now, I just want you to see that. You can see that, right? So you're going to download that app. Get that on your phone now. We can't see the app, mate. You, Mandy, oh, go to gallery. To... Go to gallery, Mandy, because it's because he's talking. It's showing his screen saved one. Um, but if you go to gallery, you'll see him sharing. Yes, you'll see me sharing off of your gallery mode. So you're not looking at my phone right now. You're actually looking at your computer screen and that's where you'll see that app. Okay. Now I'm going to open this app and actually what I'm going to do first is off of zoom. So hold on. I can get back on zoom. It's all very tricky. I know. And now I've got to do a screen share. Okay, so off of here, there it is. Share, screen, it's coming at you. Start broadcast. So let me ask you, can you see my screen? There it is. Okay, you got it? You can see my screen. So I know I'm an organized freak. See how I organize all of my apps into these little categories right here? You might think about cleaning up your, there's a great book called The Magic of Tidying Up. It's just awesome. So down here, I've got that button and these are all of the Youngevity apps that there are. So I label a file called Youngevity and now I'm gonna open up the Youngevity go-to app, okay? Notice in the upper right hand or upper left hand corner, I've changed that over to Australia, New Zealand. So I'm actually looking at exactly what you have access to. So nobody can say, oh, that's not fair. You only have that in the US. Nope, I am looking at your information. So I changed that up here. See how you can change this right here? You can go to your market. I select the market. 
if you want to go look at another part of the world because you're helping somebody in the Philippines from your business or the US or Canada, you can change this. So I picked um, Australia, New Zealand. Okay, so that's how we did that. I clicked done. And now I'm going to show you some tools. Bottom left hand corner of your screen, you are going to see uh, where it says tools. So under tools, you've got this face right here. And it's showing you all of these categories on your app, favorites. So let's see, in my favorites, I've got the 90 for Life product brochure, okay? Oh, there's somebody I know. It says the four story format here with Scott Farduis. So what's that all about? Um, this is a great little training. I send it to people all the time. I know it's got my voice on it, but I use it all the time. And what's this, what's this for? I teach my downline, I teach new distributors, how to have conversations with other people that are very, very natural. So I find this a really powerful link so that when they get in social settings, they're like, well, I don't really know what to say. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know what to do. And so I teach them this four story format. I'm not gonna teach it to you right now. You can go here and figure it out later, but that's in my favorites. Um, then here's mine and Juliet's success story. I put that in my favorites as well. Why? Because when we're introducing ourselves to people, we wanna say, hey, here's who we are. We want you to meet our kids. We want you to meet us. We want you to see our lifestyle and we can send that to people. And then, um, you know, we're pretty big into staying lean and trim and, trim and healthy. So we like this product called Rev. So we set up some favorites to show you. Here's some videos that are pretty cool that you can find. Um, this Audacity of Health with Dr. Wallach is awesome. That is like the creme de la creme of what longevity stands for. It's about a 35 or 40 minute biography on Dr. Wallach that was made for television. Really cool. So anyhow, you got stuff there. Here's your PDF, PDF files. Look at that. We've even got information in here on the Jamberry Nail product line. Check that out. So that's in there. Um, we've got uh, how to become a one star. That's in there. So this is important if you're teaching people how to rank advance and how to set up your business to become a one star. That's pretty cool. So anyhow, I'm just showing you that you've got these categories. Upper left hand corner. See these, um, see these two bars in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to click on those right there in the upper right hand corner. And now you've got these categories that pop up. This is everything that's in your app. So if I hold down the three bars on the right hand side of the, of the slide, I can highlight it and I can move these around and change the categories of how things show up. So if I'm like, well, I don't really like the favorites up top. I'd rather have PDFs up top. Great, I hold down that slide, drop it up there like that. If I hit done, it'll save it that way and it'll be done, but I actually like it down here like this. So this is how I like to arrange it. You can arrange it however you want to. This is my custom deal, but I just wanted you to see. So if you're going, ah, there's something on here I don't really like. I don't really care to see this thing called, um, I'm just making it up, they're all good, but let's just say you didn't wanna see the feature product links. You can unclick it, see that? And now that will not show up on the face of your app. I rather like it, so I keep it highlighted. I'm just, again, I'm just showing you how you can do that. When you're done arranging things in order, when you're done deciding what you wanna show up as options, you hit done and you go back. Okay, see this button called contacts right here. This is so cool. Lower left-hand corner, it says contacts. So this is every single name inside of your phone registry, okay? So this is every single name. How do you get this to sync with the contacts of your phone? Lower right-hand corner, see the little settings button before I click on it? There it is, I click that and it says um, right here at the top. See how I can do face ID on my phone? If I don't wanna type in a, a, a code or take time to log in, this will read my face off my phone. So I highlight that, that's pretty cool. That's how I log into my phone. I just hold it up to myself, like I'm looking in the mirror and voila, I'm in my phone. So I can choose my language, my time zone. Um, down here at the bottom, see where it says sync device contacts. See that right there? Who do I wanna sync? I wanna sync all contacts. I want every single name in my phone to sync into this deal. It's so awesome. Okay, so when I'm done, I'm done. I don't see where it says, just scrolling down to see if it says, uh, you know, go someplace else. It doesn't, I'm just done. So I can click out of here and go back to say contacts. Now what's up with this list right here? 
see at the top of your screen, it's got three categories. It says all, hot, and cold. This is so cool. It's absolutely awesome. So let's just say that I'm starting from, I've actually started this. So um, let's go. Okay. So let's just look here. So now I'm in, now I'm in the A's. All right, I'm in the A's. So now I've got this name called uh, Aaron Anaya. I don't even know who that is, to be quite honest. You know how you end up with contacts in your phone? You're like, how'd they even get there? I mean, I've got a gajillion of those. I just don't remember how they got there. So this is a hot and a cold list. I don't know who they are. If I swipe to the left, it gives them a blue dot. What does that mean? It means they're cold. If I swipe that name to the right, it makes it red. That means they're hot. So that's pretty neat, right? I can just quickly go through and go, oh, Aaron Clark, hot. Aaron Hawks, cold. Aaron Nunez, cold. Aaron Wine, hot. See how I did that? Oops. Hold it. What? You cannot perform actions with contacts missing, first name, phone number. Okay. So I, I'm picking names here that, see, I don't even have a phone number. That's perfect. That's the bad deal to have in your contact deal, but at least I'm being honest and showing you what's up here. So let's go down here. Okay. So Adam Hendrickson, see how I, I put that to uh, cold? Um, I've already gone through here. See this right here? Okay, there's a good one. Adam Spencer. I want that to be hot. See how that moved it to hot? Now, you, this is how you should prioritize your entire contact list. Go through the whole thing. This is how you decide how you have low-hanging fruit, like on a, on a day where you've got time to build your business, which is every day. It's like, when are you going to build your business? What should you spend your time doing? What you should spend your time doing is coming over to this contact list right here and going, hot list. Boom. See that right there? Now I'm going, this is who I need to be calling right here. Don't waste my time any place else. Go to your hot list. Now, I went through here, just all things being equal, and I started doing this so I could do a demonstration. I actually need to finish doing this myself. And so I just wanted you to see how you can create a hot list, how you can create a cold list. I can go over here to my cold list, and I can go, oh, you know what? Alberto Ariano, that's not a cold name anymore. I've actually, so I'm making this up, just showing you a demo. I've had a conversation with him. I changed my mind. See, he, I just swiped to the right. It made him hot and it took it off the cold list. So sometimes you change and now I go back to the hot list and there he is, Alberto Ariano, right there. So that's how you make your hot and cold list. Tell me, somebody give me some feedback. Isn't that awesome? Yes, no, maybe so. Anybody? Perfect. Okay, this is awesome. Very I just cool. showed you. Super Thank cool. Thank you, Gracie. <laughs> yep, I, it is slick. I'm telling you, this, this app absolutely rocks. So now, if I want to add a name, I just hit the plus sign in the upper left hand corner. I don't even have to worry about syncing it. I can just put it straight in here right now. So I could type in Joanne, for example, and then enter, and then boom. I, and then I'd add her to my hot or cold list. So back to my alls. How do I know where I'm at? I go find the last place I have a dot and I pick up where I left off, okay? And you just keep doing this. You should spend your time going through this until you're done. And how many names do you have in here? I don't know, but I bet you have hundreds. So it's gonna take you a little bit of time to do it, but you'll never be bored again, ever, okay? Got it? Now, here's my feed. This is telling me this is telling me, this is telling me exactly what I've got going on here. So click link order. Um, Juliet watched video. Ju See, I'm just reading through here. She clicked the link to join. She clicked the link to order. See this right here? So this is telling me who's taken action on what I've sent out to them. What did you send out? Nothing yet. I'll show you how to do that. If you want to log into your back office, look at the lower right hand corner. See where it says business? Okay. This is loading my business services link. Well, look at that. It says I can enroll a new distributor. No way. Right there. I'm having a conversation with somebody. They're like, man, I need some of those nails. I need that Rev product. I got to lose a few pounds. I want to get in shape. Put me on the 90 essential nutrients. So you can go right in here and it says enroll a new distributor. If I open that up right now, it's linked to my name, everything. What are you all laughing at? Are you two laughing? 
you're like Siskel and Ebert in the background there. We both Tracy. we raised at the exactly same time. <laughs> sorry. Oh, okay. Okay, good. It good wasn't deal. You. So, Not you, sorry. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I don't I don't even mind. I'm just kidding around. So now look it says right here, it says distributor back office 2.0. I can click in that and immediately log into my back office. How's my volume doing? Where am I at in rank? What's my bonus check looking like? Um, who's new today? You know, you can look up all that stuff back there. I need to update my profile. You guys know what the back office looks like. You spend as much time in there as I do. Okay, so that's what your business link is for. And now I've showed you all of the links. Let's go back to tools. Upper right hand corner, see the plus sign? This is where it gets so cool. You're gonna love this. First of all, before I show you the, the cool plus sign, let's say that I wanted to send them Oh, I know. How about a podcast right here? I want to send them this really awesome uh, podcast from Dr. Corey Gold. Okay. So if I click on that, notice at the bottom of my screen, it says, do I want to send that to somebody? Yes. I want to send it to, let's see. I don't know if it'll let me do it internationally here, but let me see. If I can text, um, okay, see how it goes to my contacts right there? It goes straight to my, so everything I'm doing is inside this app. I sent, I was gonna text it to somebody. It's inside the app. Let's see, I don't know. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so it's got a gajillion people in my Ds. What I really wanna do here, sorry for the scroll. Sorry, 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 just showing you. Um, you can go in the search and search for somebody too, right? Like yep, that yep I sure can. So D-R-A-C. All right, yep, because I don't put Dracy in here because I always call her on Messenger. I was gonna send it to her right now so you could see how send this to, is operating. Send it to Juliet. I just, yep, I can send it to Juliet. So, all right, so let's go Juliet. So I'm like, okay, Juliet, this is so cool. See, I clicked her phone number there and it's going to pop up see how this works you, and this will work the same for you over there give it a second it's probably loading a big file either that there we go so check this out it automatically populates a text it's 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 a smart thinking deal so dr corey explains how direction and motivation can combine to get you across the finish line so this audio is from his 2018 convention keynote in san diego i can leave it like that or i can add to it and I can, you know, start typing something, my own custom message to Juliet, or I can highlight this and get rid of it and say, that's not what I want to say at all. Okay, this is, this is good. I don't need all this. Um, let's just say I stopped here, for example. I can take that out, and then I can go, boom. Okay, so that's on its way. See, it says successfully sent this SMS text message to Juliet. So I'm notified. Hey, Juliet, did that come across on your side? Yes, I got a, let me see here. It was There you go. Check that out. I'm, I'm getting a message. The appointment it. went well. That's, that's a private message. See, I didn't unmute myself. Good thing everybody likes me so far. Perfect. See that <laughs> appointment really well? You're seeing my literal screen right now. Okay. So that's how you send anything you want to right out of your app. Okay. So I showed you how to do that. Now, let's say you want to have a lot of fun. Okay. I'm going to make a video. All right. You're going to watch me make a homemade video right now. This is so cool. So upper right hand corner, see the plus sign right there? Upper right hand corner. I'm going to click on that plus sign and it says record a video. I actually recorded this video right here. You can see that I just shaved off all my facial hair like an hour ago. I had a full beard going on. I shaved it down three times. My daughter begged me to grow a beard. So I had a big old bushy beard. Yesterday, I trimmed it once, and I'm like, that's not short enough. I trimmed it again today. That's not short enough, and, and then I took a razor to it about an hour ago, so it's all gone, but I just made a homemade video, so let's see if this will work while we're all on the phone together, okay? So I'm going to tap the record a video button here, and I'm going to send a video to Tracy. Hey, watch this. Okay, now. It's not recording yet. Look at the bottom, there's the big red button so you know what to do. I'm not going faster than you can say, how do you do that? So there's that big red button. 
So it's basically saying, is this ready? And it's not ready. So what I need to do is I need to turn the screen around. Okay, so now the screen is supposed to be turning around and looking at me. Come on, turn around. Is the lighting just bad? Why is that not showing up? I so want to record a video for you. Come on, really? Okay, it doesn't want me to while I'm on here with all of you. That's what the deal is. It knows I'm on a Zoom. It's not gonna let me record a video. I know why, because the camera's already looking at me, so I can't record the video. The camera's already looking at me through Zoom, so therefore it's not gonna let me record a video. However, you can see what to do here. Got it? So we'll X out of here. Let's say that I just recorded this video right here. All right, so here's the video. And I recorded this an hour ago. I actually recorded this video to Dracy. And so, let me see if it'll play. Hey, Dracy, I'm super excited to share with you all the greatest news about the Healthy Start Pack that we talked about over the phone. I'm going to uh, put my contact information right here. And over here on this corner, that is my uh, PDF file that I built for you that you can look into the Healthy Start Pack and see all the research done by Dr. Wallach. And then why don't we catch up in about the next couple of days, okay? I look forward to knowing that you got this information and having a great follow-up with you. Could you hear the audio? Yes, we heard the audio, great. Okay, okay, now you're going, what was my finger doing? Notice how I was saying, I'm going to attach this link right here and I'm gonna attach this link right here. So now check this out, this is gonna rock your world. See my fingers pointing up, so I'm like, hey, click here to, I forget what I said, but click here to watch this and click here to read this or listen to that. So now what I do is I come over here and I, I see the slide. I'm sliding this around and I'm going back to exactly the place. Okay, all right, there's my finger. So now what do I wanna put on there? See these buttons at the bottom? I wanna put on my email. Okay, so it drops my email button right here. I'm just making this up. I forget what I even was talking about on there. And I drag it and I put it right there. See that? How slick is that? I mean, that's like really cool. Come on, everybody, that's awesome. And then I'm like, okay, I did a second one. So I'm scrolling. Okay, there's my other finger right there. And now, oh, I'm sorry. It asked me to put my email in there. See that at the bottom? It won't let me go any further because I dropped my email link in there. So now I attach my email. So I go, S for do list. This is my email, by the way. If you want to take a picture of this, you can email me anytime. Uh, Gmail.com. Okay, now I click done. And that email link is now embedded in that box. Cool, huh? Okay, so now I go next. Okay, I don't want to add another video to Dracy, so I go back out of there. And now I go here. And I go, okay, I want to send a website. Okay, so now I go drag this button up here on top of that index finger. By the way, when we play this video again, these things won't be there at the beginning. They'll pop up right when I point at it. So they're not locked on the video. It pops up exactly at the time. It's like magic. I'm like, hey, Dracy, um, I, want you to, I want you to click on here and, and do this. And then a couple of seconds later, I'm like, hey, click on this link right here. I've embedded a link here for you to watch something really cool. Now let's say I was gonna send her, what are we gonna put in there? I'll tell you what we're gonna put in there. Let's put in, okay. So what we need to do is cancel out of that, discard. Okay, bear with me. I, I was, I'm just making this up. I, I want you to see how cool this is. So let's go here. Let's say I want to send her my, my video. Okay. So now what we do is I'm going to copy the link. See the lower right hand corner where it says copy. So I'm going to copy this link because it's a website. All right. It's coming off the web. So it says a link has been copied to your clipboard. Now I go back to this video. So again, bear with me here. Where's my video? Oh man, there it is, okay, right there. 
So now I go here and I go find my finger point again and I want to add this video. Okay, so I, I drag the video over here and then I go see where it says add URL at the bottom. See that? So I go here, 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 and paste. See that? That's how I paste the link of the video I wanted Dracy to see into that button, and I hit done. Now that is programmed with my video. So I didn't do this, but if I had said it in my video and it said, hey, Dracy, I know we just got to know each other, but I really want to get to know you better, and I want you to know who my family is. I'd like you to meet my children and my wife and put names with faces together because we're going to be teaming up. We're going to be partners. And then, boom, I send this video off, and she's like, oh, that's really cool. And then she clicks on that, and then she sees a super professional documented story with our background. Now, tell me that's not cool. Isn't that slick? Isn't that awesome? Okay, now I hit next. And that video is now programmed with exactly what I did. Okay, so if I go out of here, that video is ready to be sent. See what, I, see what it says? It says I added that website at the bottom. So I know now that this save video is embedded with that website that I attached. All right. Um, so what I wanna do is go, oops, here, here. It's already saved. Just making sure. Oops, didn't wanna do that. Cancel. Cancel this card. Okay, so now if I want to if I want to send this, I would now two point four four. Okay, great. All right, loading. Complete. Bear with me. Okay. Got to see where I dropped it here. Bear with me, keep holding on. My tools. I'm wondering if I just didn't save it. So if I wanted to What am I missing here? Cancel this card. Oh, okay. It's not going to let me do it because I'm talking to you. I keep forgetting that I'm hindered with some of my actions because I'm on a Zoom with you and it's not going to let me do certain things. Okay. So I can send that video now and it will, here's how you refresh your screen. See this, you pull down on it and it reloads. See that like that? So if you're ever wondering if you have the most recent information or if your app is up to date, et cetera, that's what you do. So you will never miss anything if you've got that pulled down. All right, I think everybody knows how to use this app right now. And the main thing you wanna do, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a stop screen share here and go back to talking with you. So let me do that here. Stop screen share. All right, so I'm gonna turn off this Zoom link. Leave. All right, I'm back with you on the big screen. So how was that? Did you guys like uh, taking a tour through the app? Did that give you a really good feel for things? So, I mean, if you're going, well, you mentioned Jamberry, is that in there? Yeah, Jamberry was in there, it was in, it was in that section. You can attach uh, stuff about the gel, the gel strips 
and the new polish that came out, which is really cool. So if you're, if you're sending out, say, say you're going to do a, a, a get together with a bunch of gals on, you know, Monday night, you can send, you can use this app, send out a video to 10 of your friends and attach those two things in there and say, Hey, this is what we're going to feature Monday night at my house at 7 PM. Come on over, you bring fruit, you bring cheese, you bring whatever, and uh, we're gonna have a great time. See how you can use that for promotions? And then you know who's paying attention, like who's gonna come and who's, because they will have opened it. And as soon as they open your message, you get dinged with a text message that says, hey, Joanne opened it, Deb opened it, Jackie opened it, um, uh, Miranda opened it, uh, Tamara's, Tamara opened it. They can respond to you, but you know who's paying attention and who didn't even see it at all. They can't lie to you. That's what's great. Nobody can ever lie to you. <laughs> so that's some good news about that app. Juliet, is there anything? Um, I know I covered a ton of stuff. Um, oh. Is there anything in a highlight there? No, I thought that was great. It's nice that people could see before and after. On. Juliet? Oh. Cannot hear you. Okay, it shows. No, no volume yet for you. We, we can hear you. Okay, how's that? Yeah, perfect. Oh, we can hear you. Okay, I I thought it was great that you taught everyone, told everyone what you look like before and after your beard. Mm. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Okay. Yeah. Yes, I do now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. I think I had accidentally touched a a mute button. And so when we had our training the other day with Sonia Torborg, she was fantastic, and she did give us some, um, just a few little details. I was looking through the notes that I could just chime in on what you just said, Scott. And that is that after you've sent someone what they, so all the things that you can send are called assets. So just, uh, that's what they're calling videos, PDFs, um, anything that's in your app that you can send out is called an asset. So once you've sent an asset to someone, you can set a reminder in your app to remind you to follow up. So it's great that the app will tell you, so-and-so watch the video, or they'll tell you what percentage of the video they watch. They watch 65% of the video you sent. And then you know that they watched it and you, know, you don't wanna be like a private investigator and, and call them back and say, why didn't you watch the last 30% of the video? I, you know, I can tell that you didn't do that. That's just for your own information that, you know, you can keep that secret in your back pocket, so to speak. You are told by the app that they watched it so that you know, okay, they're interested. They're clicking on my links. They're opening my files. They are engaging with me. And so they're thinking about me. They're thinking about longevity. And that's a great way to, uh, to remind you to call them back. In addition to that, you can set a reminder that will remind you to follow up with them. So let's say that it reminded you that they saw it and you called them, but they didn't answer. You don't wanna lose that fire that they have um, for just watching your asset. So you can set the reminder to remind you to follow up with them, which I think is really, really handy because we all get busy and some of us are really good at sending things out, but not following up. And the fortune is in the follow up, right? I mean, you know it's a cliche, but that is so true. It's easy to, to um, get excited and share things and then the money comes in when you actually follow up, answer their questions and get the order or get them to join and you know, join your mission. So um, she also said, Sonia was explaining that you could do like the video that Scott just did and not say the person's name. So he said, Dracy, um, nice talking to you today, which is great because it's personalized. You can do that if you like. Or you can also record some that are more generic and then you can just keep them labeled as nice to meet you. It was great talking to you today. And here's the, here's the link I promised you and not just be so specific. And then you can use that every time. That way you're not recording videos and inserting links and things every single time. But you could have your, your favorite link that's an introduction link or, or introduction video. And then you could have another one that's for um, here's how you get started. Here's how you enroll. It's really simple. Just click here, click there. And um, they'll just think it's a magic show. It's really fun. Um, Sonia also explained that other companies do not have anything this 
this uh, elaborate, this um, high tech. They, this is really revolutionary. And it is, um, it took a lot of money and time for longevity to get it together for us. And so uh, when people are, are maybe perhaps questioning, why do you have a renewal fee? Why do you have an application, you know, a joining fee? Well, we have some really slick tools that are going to grow your business if you use them. And so uh, this is just a fraction of, of cost of what it costs for the company to make. So that's why we don't mind paying our renewal fees. Um, we've been in other um, companies, I'm sure you've heard of ones where you have to pay a technology fee every month. And so um, I think that, you know, the renewal fee that we have is very fair and actually really generous of them when you find out what it went into it. So that's another, another little comment I had written down that you can share with people. And also this is available on your desktop. So if you want to be able to have a little bit more functionality, you can print PDFs. And um, is this available in Australia, New Zealand? I can see you, Joanne and Dracy, is that true? Say that again. I was just thinking that that was great for people who can't see much on their phone. Oh, see it in the bigger print would be very helpful for them. Yes, I don't. I was just assuming that it's available on the desktop everywhere. I would think it would be if you have the app. You we probably can do. That. Okay. Well, she said it was available, so that that's nice too. Because then, if there's a PDF that you want to print, then you can go ahead and just do that from your computer. And um, you can save PDFs and things there and download things and save them and then email them later. And there's also app training on your app. So when Scott was talking about it, it's at the bottom of the app. You can go through and watch things and they're adding new things all the time. So if you want to share this with others, you can do a little mini trainings. And um, let's see, he... Uh, JJ Os Oswald, who, who is the co-creator of this, said that if there's a video that you would like to have in your assets, in your app, that is longer than three minutes, so let's say you, you made a video and it turned out to be three minutes and 30 seconds, it's going to be grayed out when you try to upload it. It won't be there because it's, it's longer than the, minute, the maximum of three minutes. But if you really wanted to use that video and you don't want to start over and try to shrink it to three minutes, you can email it to JJ Oswald and he will go ahead and help you upload it for you into your app. So I thought that was very, very good news. And those are the highlights of our, uh, of our training that we had. And you can also watch the whole thing because we recorded it and I posted it on the Longevity Facebook official page. So you can find it there and you'll see Sonia's picture and it's, it's got the orange app logo. And you can go back and watch that later. That's, that's what I have for you. Thank you for listening. Aww, thank, you. thank you. That's divine. You know, there's two things that got me really excited how I would love to use this. Uh, one is you know, when you try something new, like a new product and just sharing and showcasing how fabulous it is and then getting them the link exactly where to buy it. So I got excited about that. Um, and then the other thing is when we have an event, really personally inviting somebody to an event, how awesome, and then linking them to the Eventbrite link, website Eventbrite link, so they can go and register. So those are the two things I kind of thought, oh, this is how I can totally use this um, to maximize in my business. So thank you. That's awesome. And um, when I went to convention and they launched this, I was like, oh my God, this is so awesome. I'm going to use this. But again, I still have yet to use it until you guys have walked me through the details, how to use it. I figured I'd have no problem figuring it out. But it, again, I didn't do it until somebody showed me. So it just shows the importance of training and showing people how to do this. So thank you. Absolutely. Hey, I, I wanted to answer a couple of questions. Mandy, you asked if you can do this on the computer and your phone at the same time as in one account. Yes, it is one account uh, switched between two devices. So I think the answer to that is yes. Um, see if we miss anything else. Uh, it only syncs, as far as I know, it only syncs your contacts that are loaded into your phone. I do not believe it syncs over to Messenger. 
I think that's something that we can request. Maybe they could do. I don't know if they, what the hoops they would have to jump through for that. It would, I be know great. That you, it would be great for Messenger for sure because more and more people, I'm not taking people's phone numbers. I'm just Facebook friending them with them. And that would be amazing to use Facebook Messenger. Yes. And by the way, Mel, PJs are totally fine. I don't know why you're hiding behind your camera just because you have PJs on. It's totally cool to have PJs on. Because we don't know what kind. All right. Hey, while, we're, while Julia and I are here, because we're going to depart in just a moment, is there any question whether it's related to this app or something else that we could answer for you. Anything on your mind? Anything you're thinking about going through, experiencing, processing? I so, see can that. I? Go ahead, um, I have tried, I have this on my phone, the GoTo app, but some of my contacts don't go across. I met somebody new recently, I put him in my phone, I went to send something, but for some reason it hasn't gone across. I um, deleted the app, reloaded the app, and still, I mean, Android should be just the same as iPhone. There shouldn't be an issue, should there? You know, I wish I was a programmer genius. <laughs> I just whip up a phenomenal answer for you. Um, I just don't know what to say. I, I, think you're, I think the app doesn't like that person. Oh, that's Probably sad. Proactively resync it, resync okay. the actual contacts. You would have to do that proactively, I would think. One at a time. <laughs> no, no, no. Just resync. Yeah. So On when you've added a new contact, then you go to the settings and you just hit the resync. I just did that now while we were on listening to Scott. And then I checked and it still hasn't come up. But I can't right. get my son or my daughter we'll on there take either. That for another time, because we're not going to solve it on sure. this call. So perfect. Any yeah. other I, questions that we can answer for you? And I think, I think we, yeah. we could give uh, the email to, to Deb and to everyone of Sonia or JJ, and then they can help you with that. Perfect. We'll just put it in the um, contacts. Or we can end, email NZ support, and they would happily follow up and find out how to do that. Okay, that's even better. So Scott and Juliet, before we have you go, could, because the theme is taking a giant leap into their 2020, what would be a really big tip you could give everybody on this call taking a giant leap, besides going and activating and taking advantage of their go-to app? And working hard. Yes. Say that I hear sometimes people say, well, I just don't know who to talk to anymore. I think I've exhausted my list. And I think that we've shown today that if you open up your phone, you have a, a huge number of people that you haven't talked to yet. We all have that. And so if they're in your phone, then for some reason your paths crossed. And so I think all those people could be considered a hot market, nice. really, because you have their number. And so the only ones that are cold, I would think, are the ones that are already in your business or if they've given you a firm no, then you can move them over to cold. However, we've had colds turn back to warm, turn back to hot because they've seen our success. And then they say, you know, we've been watching you guys on Facebook or whatever it is. And it looks like you're doing well. I'd like to hear what you're doing. And maybe they said no initially. So um, I just think that it's, it's time to not be shy. Jump in and share whatever it is that you're excited about the most that you think would resonate with each person. And if you don't talk to them, somebody else will. So why not find out and then move to the next one? Yeah, good for you. Thank you so much, Julia. And I love it that you can send a personal video. So it's totally something different. And you can show something you're so excited about and have a link. I think you could get a lot of miles on new people for just with just that new tool. Absolutely. So thank you. What about you, Scott? What kind of words would you love to give this big hot tip? Well, let me ask this. How many of you on this call, um, this is the first time you've ever heard Julia or I say anything other than a video? Okay, quite a few. How many of you are here from Ben AU or Jamberry Nails? Okay, cool. Anybody know Nathan and Julie Terrell? You all do? 
Okay, well, for the rest of everybody's benefit, um, they're good friends of ours and uh, very inspiring. So we've known them for a little while, love their family, their children. Um, they're just great, great people. And I love their story about how they built this business out of not very convenient places down in Mexico when Nathan was a missionary. And you know, here she was raising children, no real uh, conveniences or, or modern day thrills or frills, just kind of living out in some pretty harsh uh, areas. And she was building her business from down there. You know, they used to ask for money, you know, like people to support them and sponsor them as missionaries. And she started building their jamberry business. And next thing you know, she's making a couple thousand dollars a month. Next thing you know, she's making 10,000 a month. Next thing you know, she's making 30,000 a month. Next thing you know, she's making 50,000. How do you go from asking people to support you being a missionary and you're getting checks deposited into your account for tens of thousands of dollars every month? And it, she, she tells this awesome story about how one day they just had to say, we better contact our sponsors and tell them we don't need your money anymore. We feel guilty taking this support when we don't need it. So neat to hear how they just kind of canceled that and how big their business went. Yes, you know, things get topsy-turvy, life happens, et cetera. They've, they've got an awesome story about that as well. But I, I just want you to know, there's just really no reason why not to succeed when you have a reason. And I think a lot of times we, we get involved with um, longevity and we don't, we don't really know why we did it. We don't have a reason well-defined. We, we haven't decided how much money we want to make and what position in the comp plan is associated with that income. So I'd like for you to think about this. How much money do you want to make every month in longevity? So answer that question. Like seriously answer it. Be specific. How much money do I want to make every month in my longevity business? So everybody got their number down? Okay, you got your number down? Did you write it down? If you don't write it down, this is a very useless exercise. So write your number down right now. Do it, write it down. You got it down? Okay, now, why did you write that number down? You have a reason why you wrote that number down. Now, it's time to take action and, and put some sentences behind that number. What does that number mean to you? What does it represent? What problem does it solve? What goal does it help you accomplish? What dream does it help you live and fulfill? Be specific. Why did you write that number down? Okay, now step three, go to the compensation plan. And if you have to go ask, ask. But figure out what position in the compensation plan supports that income. Is it, and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you probably nothing less than one star is acceptable for answering this question. So whatever you wrote down on a piece of paper is solved by nothing less than one star. So you should find out, you know, hey, what's the average income for one star executives? What's the average income for a two star executive, three star, four star, five star, or an ambassador? Ask. And so, you know, I remember our first check in, in longevity was, was not that impressive, but you know what, it, whether it was, I forget, it was like, was it like $13 and change? Something like that. That was our first check in, in longevity. And it's like, wow, it works. Yes, it works. You know, it was irrelevant what the amount was at that time. It's just more like it works. And so we just kept building. And I remember in like 90 days, we so desperately needed a car. Our car had been repossessed. Um, we were down to one car. The one we were driving was leaving oil stains all over the driveway. It was, it was, it was horrible, but you know what? It was the most motivating vehicle we ever drove in our entire lives. And you know, if we had had a nice car, I'd be like, eh, we don't need to build our longevity business. We got a sweet ride. Look at these wheels. Instead, it's like, look at that oil spot. Holy smoke. We got to do something about that. When you're parking places and you got to open up the trunk and pull out your cut out a cardboard that you slide underneath the transfer case on the front end of your car so that it drips on there. And then when you drive away, you pull out the cardboard and put it back. The felt was falling out of the ceiling of the car. The, uh, you know, the air conditioning didn't work. We rolled down the windows by doing this. That's a sign, right? So that was uh, pretty sweet that, that we needed a car. So we're like, okay, we need a car bonus. What do we have to do? And it's like, we need to enroll 12 with 
you know, with all of them at uh, 100 QV. We got to we got to get that done. We got to hit one star. And so, you know, we did all that in our first 90 days. We hit one star. We became car qualified. And next thing you know, we're able to order up a new car paid for by Longevity. And I will never forget what that car was. It was awesome. It was so cool to us. It was like ours, paid for, afforded. We were so proud of it. At the time, we had these little vanity, you know, fake license plates that were made. And um, it said 90 for life on it, which was really cool. And uh, so we, we put that on the front. I know it was illegal, but we did it anyways. It was cool. So um, we had our car. And then we were thinking about, okay, great. You know, what's, what's next? What's the number that we need to hit? And we're like, well... This is how much our our house is costing us to to lease, and this is how much um, it's going to cost us to keep our kids in that you know that special school across town. So we're like, okay, you know that's going to require two star immediately. So boom, we set out, and man, did we put those blinders on, and we just didn't stop. We were relentless. The pursuit of hitting that goal was a relentless one for us, and so. You know, we didn't have this app, all these, all these cool things. We didn't have any, let's be clear. We had no CEO packs. We had no fast start bonus. We had no quick start bonus. We had no coding bonus. Get a load of that. We didn't have any of that stuff. Our product lines were like this instead of like this. And so it was just a lot different. But you know what? None of that stopped us. We didn't know. We didn't know. We just knew that we had to sell what was on the wagon and not complain about what we didn't have. We wish we had us like... This is what's available. This is what's possible. Don't worry about what we don't have. Just focus on what we do have and get busy. And we just got busy. And um, that was eight years ago. Believe it or not, it was only eight years ago. And we never stopped. We just didn't stop. We were relentless. We used every nook and cranny time throughout the day. And we were doing one-on-ones. We were doing meetings in the evening. We pulled people into our house. Um, We packed out our house, you know, it was nothing special, so to speak, but we put as many people in there as we possibly could. And we were the fastest people to date inside of Longevity to become ambassadors. You know, that was a new position that was added. I think we did it in four years um, from zero to ambassador in in like a four year period of time. So you can do this. All of you can do this. You just need to want it badly enough and I'll, I'll say there's two categories of people. There's people that are comfortable and you'll make this a hobby. There's people that are uncomfortable and you'll make this a pursuit. And there's a difference between making this a pursuit and something that's a hobby. You have to decide, is this a hobby for me? And it doesn't really matter because I'm not really that motivated and I'm struggling to write down my reason for why I have any amount of money written down on my paper at all. If that's your personality, I'll just tell you right now, you're going to struggle with, it's not just this, you'll struggle with anything. You got to have goals and you got to have reasons for why those goals exist. And once you have those goals down and you've got your reason to find and you've got an amount of money written down and you've got a, a, a place in that comp plan that you know you have to hit in order to receive that level of income, then it'll become a pursuit. So make this your pursuit. Don't make it your hobby. That's my advice for you, and I hope that makes sense. It does. That's exactly right. Well, that's exactly what I was hoping for, looking for from Scott and Juliet Fredula. So thank you guys so very much. And I'm going to take that and keep implementing it to everybody for the rest of the year. Um, And Thursday night is our Thursday Thursday training on 100% better in wealth. And the focus is financial literacy. So you have just set up people. So thank you so much uh, for your guys' time. We love you guys to pieces. And we'll keep you guys posted on what we're doing. And we're going to get them sending videos. So let's get them sending some videos. We'll get them sending. Now that they got sfredulis at gmail.com, you should be expecting some videos from everybody. You all are welcome to email us anytime. You're welcome to friend us on Facebook and follow us on social media. Friend us up, hit us up, communicate with us on Messenger, however you'd like. And if we can help you, we will. We can help you. Just reach out. And then, Dracy and Joanne, thank you so much for, A, again, inviting Juliet and I on here. Thank you for hosting such an awesome event today on this beautiful Saturday uh, on the land down under. And thank you for being just the tenacious leaders that you are for working hard, whether it's behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, and making what we do just so much fun and extremely relevant. So you all have a great day. And again, thank you for having us. Thank you.
Thank you, Scott. Woohoo! Thanks You're again. Fantastic. Thanks, Jimmy and Tracy. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your Friday night, you guys. Thank All you. Right. So much. Have a great Super Saturday. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Now, I'm sure everybody is just breathing and uh, trying to absorb the fantastic hour that we just had with Scott and Juliet. And I just want to say, please take the notes and make a commitment to yourself to maximize that YGY go to app and see how you're going to take it and implement it into your business. So as we continue, we know it's still Friday night to our next guest and she has come on board. She's in Missouri. So it's like 10 o'clock at night and she's doing a weekend retreat sharing and showcasing the essential oils. We love her to bits, Lorraine, uh, Leanne King, and she's managed to make it for us. And I just want to say, Leanne, thank you so much for joining us. I see you're there. And so we've talked about this Aroma Share Club, and we want you to tell us what makes Longevity Essential Oils so amazing. Why are you so passionate? And why we have you is because you want to come down under. And the only way we can do that is to get the interest and the commitment from everybody. And I know they're going to be interested and committed once they hear you talk and share. So thank you for the first time sharing with Longevity Down Under personally. That's we amazing. welcome you. All right. Thank you so much. I hope it, is it too much echoing in here? No. It's fantastic. Okay. I'm in the dining room at my retreat center here in uh, Coffee, Missouri. I bought an old high school two years ago, and we've been renovating it for two years, specifically to host women's events and showcasing um, a lot of Longevity's products. We eat Longevity while we're here. We take Longevity vitamins. We uh, do all kinds of fun things with the essential oils. We do business trainings while they're here. We teach them to speak and what I want to talk about, like you asked me, is what is fantastic about Longevity Essential Oils? Well, I'm very prejudiced about the Longevity Essential Oils because my husband does, and I, we do the blending and the formulating for the uh, Longevity, and we also do the sourcing. We seek out the different distillers and hand pick, especially my husband is in charge of that, hand picking the essential oils that go in your bottle. Now, one of the things I want to talk about, what we think really sets us apart, is that we are members of NAHA, and that is the National Association of Holistic Aromatherapists. And that is a, a unusual and great honor, and I want you to understand that that is not them necessarily choosing us, that is us choosing them. We are choosing to follow their safety standards. We are choosing to follow their level of ethics, okay, in how we teach on how you use essential oils. And one of the main things that they teach is using less essential oils, always diluting them, not always, but I'd say like 90% of the time, diluting them either in a carrier oil or in milk or in bath salts or maybe in a lotion, or in like our CM cream, because our essential oils are extremely potent compared to what you might be used to if you are used to using um, essential oils from another company. So for example, let's say you go on Pinterest and you find a recipe on how to make a face scrub or something, and you'll see that they have so many drops of each essential oil. What I recommend you do is a minimally uh, divide that by four in how many drops that you're going to add. Now, if it is a recipe that's a small recipe and it only count calls for one or two drops, then you're going to have to multiply your carrier by four rather than divide your essential oils by four. Okay, otherwise your product is going to be way too strong and you're going to be wasting your essential oils. Now, when my husband chooses the oils that are going to be in your bottle, he looks at, he gets samples, and we do this out of our own pocket. We order samples, because you need to understand that before we came to Longevity, we had our own little small mom and pop essential oils company. We have nine children, we have 27 grandchildren. So we sort of created this line of essential oils, mostly for our family. And then we had some friends and other people 
wanting to use the blends that we created and wanted the super high quality essential oils. And then uh, Longevity contacted us, like I think it was seven years ago, and asked us to bring uh, our blend recipes and my husband's expertise on choosing specifically essential oils. Now, both of us are certified in medical aromatherapy, French medical aromatherapy, and I have actually attended three different aromatherapy schools. I have my own online ar aromatherapy school where you can become a certified aromatherapist, and it is certified through Naha. So we have probably combined, well, we each have around 27 years experience in the aromatherapy industry. And he also is, uh, has a degree in soil science and agriculture. And so he takes that degree and applies it to aromatherapy. So he orders all these different essential oils. Like let's say we're going to do birch oil. Let's say we're all out of birch oil. And you might say, well, why doesn't he just buy birch from the same person he bought birch from last year if it was so good? And the reason why is because crops change. Because see, we're going from a farmer's background. And crops change in your field from year to year. According to the weather, according to uh, insects, uh, pollution, whatever, okay? And so we may have gotten birch oil from a fabulous distiller a year ago, and they may have had something happen that's out of their control. And we're not saying that they don't ha aren't good people. We're just saying that their chemical profile is not where we want it to be on certain constituents, okay? It's sort of like I always compare aromatherapy to baking, okay? So pretend an essential oil is like a batch of bread, all right? So you're gonna make some gluten-free bread, okay? And when you make bread, you use flour, you use yeast, you use water, maybe you add an egg and you add some salt, okay? So what if instead of two cups of flour, you did a teaspoon of flour and two cups of yeast? Would that be okay? That be all right? So no, right? But you're using all the same ingredients you did last time. They're just as pure as they were before, but they're in different amounts, okay? And this happens all the time with essential oils. When a crop gets harvested, then it gets tested. And when we tell you that birch is going to help get rid of bone pain, it's gonna help with uh, a bone spur, it's going to help with inflammation, it's because those ingredients in that recipe are exactly where we want them to do the things we tell you it's going to do. The birch from someone else could be organic. It could be absolutely 100% pure. We're not saying that uh, necessarily other essential oil companies are selling you impure products. Some are, and there's been lawsuits and things that have done that. And if you haven't looked into that, you need to do your homework on that. But what we're saying is we choose oils in the exact recipe we want them to be. And if that particular supplier distiller, their recipe wasn't what we want it to be, then we shop around and we find what we need, okay? And it's like my husband always says, if you own a dairy farm and you are raising a batch of cows, you can either grow the hay yourself. You hear of people, essential oil companies that say, oh, we grow all of our own essential oils. Well, that's great until they have a crop failure, until they have bad weather, until there's a chemical spill on the freeway next to their farm. Something like that happens, and they are stuck with the essential oils that they are raising. But we don't do that. We shop around. Every single batch, we shop around. And, and that gives you the best quality and that you can possibly get because you know we're not tied in to having like a 10 year contract with a particular supplier, no matter what happens with their batch. Every single batch is individually evaluated. And then I wanna talk about value next. And the best value at Longevity is the Aroma Share Club. 
And the Aroma Share Club is a weekly subscription kind of authorship program that I developed seven years ago for longevity. And I wanted to make learning about essential oils simple, easy, and fun, and affordable. And Aroma Share accomplishes all of those. You get anywhere between two and four essential oils, depending on the cost. You are saving anywhere from 20 up to sometimes 50% on your, your, um, your purchase. And what we do is we pass the savings on to you. Sometimes there is a lot of a particular essential oil harvested and the price goes down. And then we can pass that on to you through the Aroma Share Club. And so that's how we can give you these great deals. And then I have a theme for the year. This year's theme is babies, pets, the elderly, and the frail. And this is my most exciting year I've ever done because it is so specific to me of the current needs that people have in the world. We have a prolific amount of elderly in the world more than ever before. And people are using essential oils unsafely on them. They think if I put three drops on me, it's perfectly fine for me to put three drops on grandma. And it's not. They have specific needs. They have essential oils that are safe for them. You have different pets and different pets have essential oils that are safe for them and not safe for others. And so we have uh, created this year's plan that each month I feature a different pet or a different size of pet, a different age of child. There are certain essential oils that are safe for two-year-olds that are unsafe for newborns. And I spent months and months planning out this whole Aroma Share Club for you guys making sure that if I said this oil was good for a newborn and also for your cat and also for grandma, that it is. And your recipes, and then you get a recipe sheet each month, and those recipes are outlined and the dosage is different than any other year. Other year's recipes, I created them, and all of your recipes from 2014 to today are in your resource section of your uh, library. And I do a video every Wednesday, and there are a couple of hundred videos probably on the Young Gemini YouTube channel. And then I have other videos also on my YouTube channel. So a lot of them overlap, but there's some, a few extra ones on Leanne King's YouTube channel. But on the Young Gemini one under Aroma Share, there are so many. And every once in a while, I share that old ones, the archived ones so that you guys can uh, see some of the, the videos from other oils. And so you get a discount, you get a variety of essential oils. You only have to learn about a few, so you don't have a big learning curve. Uh, my book that Brenda Wright and I and my daughter wrote, uh, I have it as a free download. We did that specifically for you guys, okay, because the shipping, was outrageous for us to ship it to you. So first we put on Kindle, and you can get it on Kindle if you want to for $19. Or this year we decided, and we were only gonna do it for convention, and then I was like, what the heck? So uh, it's still on the website. If you go to leanneking.com and you scroll down to the bottom, there's a picture of the book, and you can click on that. You just, uh, thank you, Deb. You can register, uh, uh, you're an account it just asks for your email so that we can send you the link for it and Then you can download the whole book. Okay. We also have a phone app That's only good for iPhone and I am so sorry. We don't have it on Android But Brenda and I actually and young Jody did not pay for that app There is actually a young Jody distributor who works for Apple and he is an app creator and that app normally would have cost us like $50,000. And he did it for his wife for free as a Christmas present. And it's pretty much the whole book on a phone app. And it is super, super awesome. And it's called Found Aroma. Found Aroma is the app. And it'll calculate your dilution and everything. So back to the Aroma Share. We have a different theme each month. It's only like $54 for US dollars, and I don't, I think it's like 90 something in your guys's 
uh, currency. And, but it is a huge savings. And it is a really good thing for business where you're trying to develop a business. It, in essential oils world, people get um, overwhelmed. They can easily become confused and they buy these oils and they stock up them on there. They, at lots of companies, they have this big, huge oil pack. Buy one of everything. And then they have them in the back of their closet and they never use them. And then they never purchase again any more essential oils because they have too many. They don't know how to use them. They're overwhelmed. They feel guilty that they spent like $2,000 buying them, right? And so this is a fantastic auto ship to build a very easy, stable income because in some auto ships you do, you get the same product every single month, right? In the aroma share, and then they get like 20 90 for life stacked up on their counter because they're not drinking and eating them, right? Well, when the aroma share club, I haven't repeated any oils, just a few, since 2014. So someone can be on the aroma share club, and probably next year I'm going to have to go back and resurrect some of the oils that I had clear back from 2014 and I'll make you guys some new recipes. All my recipes are new. I have not repeated any recipes since 2014. And uh, so your customers, the cancellation on the Aroma Share Club is the lowest of any of the auto ships because it is inexpensive and they get something different every single month. And you guys need to have get togethers. The people whose um, uh, teams and their customers don't, don't ever get off the Aroma Share is they have an Aroma Share Club get together where they make the recipes together and you have your customers bring their own oils with them. So you encourage them to put their auto ships at the beginning, towards the beginning of the month if possible. Or maybe you're going to do it um, a month behind always. And they bring their oils with them. And you, uh, another good thing is if someone teaches something, you give them an assignment, they're going to show up. So you say, hey, so-and-so, will you make this recipe and bring it to share with everybody? And then you make this recipe. So if I do four recipes every month, so you're for sure going to have four people show up and um, have them uh, be assigned. And then, then for more people, you ask them to just talk about that essential oil. And I have those sheets all written up. They don't have to create a speech. I already did your speeches for you. There's an info sheet in, in the book for every single essential oil. And one thing that's different about our book is I allow you to copy it. The, all the info pages from um, anise oil all the way through the very last blend, Y23 Immune, that section of my book is not copyrighted. Download it, and then when you um, sell an oil to one of your customers, don't leave them not, you know, wondering what to do with it. They do get an information card that I'm really proud of that we send with every single essential oil that makes them um, not be in the dark. They know how to use it, any safety features, all of that are with every single essential oil. And as far as I know, we're the only company that does such a detailed card. Some do little general things, but I actually give you little tiny mini recipes, dilutions, tips, and all of that on every card for every single oil. And so, and go and sign and join the Aroma Share group, Facebook group, and like the Aroma Share page so that you'll get notified because every Wednesday, which would be your Thursday, every Wednesday at my time at 1030 in the morning, I do a, a information call, Facebook Live, about that oil. I'll go over the recipes. I'll demonstrate them many times, show you exactly how to do it so that there is, I want to leave nothing in doubt 
So I told you I'm a mom and a grandma, and we started that company for our kids, and now that company, um, we merged it with Longevity, and we, everything, you can trust us because those oils are put on our grandbabies. Those recipes are used with our grandbabies. We buy our oils. I am on the Aroma Share Club, okay? I could have gallons of essential oils all over my house, buy them by the gallons, which we used to, but I don't. I have the Aroma Share Club on my own personal auto ship because I want the recipes all beautiful for my notebooks and I want the savings and I want to know, always know that the oils that we ask them to order and everything are actually in the bottles. And one time, just so you know, an oil came and it was not the correct oil in the bottle and a supplier did not supply us with what they said they were going to and we caught it and longevity recalled those oils this was years ago and so it's important to me to get the aroma share club sent to me so that you know that uh and then i have different friends and relatives that randomly get them. It's sort of like my back testing to make sure everything is going the way it's supposed to. And then we can catch it. And uh, I also do random um, surprise visits at Longevity and uh, go down to the essential oils division, check all the, the bottles, make sure and check it with what my husband said he told them to order to make sure that everything is always you know, where it is. And the one thing that we really, really love and respect about Steve Wallach, my husband especially, is when we first came to Longevity, my husband didn't want to um, have all of the oils listed in his secret blends. He wanted to just, uh, some companies will not put all the oils on and then they'll say a pro 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 proprietary blend of essential oils. And because they don't want us to tell what their secret oils are in their blends. And Kent's like, I don't want people being able to figure out my recipes. And Steve Wallach said, no, if it's in the bottle, it's going on the label. So that in case someone is allergic to anything, there is no doubt of what's on there. And in so many essential oil companies, Everything that they say, and I have been in several essential oil companies besides having our own over the past 30 some years. Everything that is in the bottle is not on the label. And so you know that what we say is there is what is there. Any questions? Anything else you want me to talk about? Oh, and we're coming. Yes, I was just going to say that. <laughs> Very yes. good. So I got my little dollar store planner out. I spend a lot of money on planners. I used to buy those $50 ones and then I wouldn't use them. I used this stupid dollar one more than I ever used any of my $50 planners. And uh, so it says New Zealand is um, November 27th and 28th. And uh, we need distributors who will let us stay at their house. Um, we travel on our own dime. Everything pretty much we do with the essential oils division. And one of the reasons why we do that is so that you never have to wonder that at the reason why I'm doing this or whatever is because longevity is just paying me. Okay. And so the 27th and 28th is when I want to go to New Zealand and then I need people to stay at and a couch is fine. A sleeping bag on the floor is fine. Okay. Leanne, we will make sure you're looked after. You give us the dates, darling, and you and I are going to follow up and make sure that we make this a successful trip for you. And then I want to visit places. I want to, my husband to see a sheep farm in New Zealand while I'm there. That's the only way I could get him to get on a plane. And then uh, Australia is December 4th and 5th. Excellent. So, and we actually wanted to come to New Zealand like before, like earlier in the week, so that we could see New Zealand, do two days there, then go to Australia, 
and see some of Australia and then do the weekend at Australia and then fly home after that. Excellent. That's the plan. Well, so, we, will, we will help make that plan for you, Leanne, and we are really okay. grateful for you sharing and we want to thank you so much. And I believe we're going to need to get you on a few more calls before that time. Uh, we're going to work on you and I setting this up so it's successful for you and you're going to have plenty of places offered to you to stay. Okay, awesome. So if you want me to stay at your house, Kent and I to stay at your house, let her know because we would love to stay at your house. And you're like, oh, I only have a little tiny apartment. Well, if move your coffee table. That's what we do at our kid's house. Move the coffee table and put us there. We're good to go. Thank you. Thank you so much, Leanne. Love what you do. And uh, I just want to confirm it's foundational aromatherapy on the app. Is that what it's called? Foundational aromatherapy? It's called Found. The book is called Foundational Aromatherapy, but the app, we had to shorten it. So it's called Found and then Aroma. Okay. Instead of Foundational Aromatherapy, we had to shorten it. So it's Found Aroma. Okay. Just want to be clear because there's an app called Foundational Aromatherapy. So. We'll, uh, um, we'll get it clear to everybody. Someone stole my name. I don't know what app that is. Okay. Unless it looks like a picture of my book when you pull it up, then that's not it. Okay. Well, we'll make sure everybody has the right app. Thank you so much for joining us. And you have a great night. And we'll look forward to seeing you at the end of the year. Yes. And watch my Facebook lives because we're showing parts of the retreat on Facebook. So you guys can see all the fun things we do. Excellent. Thank you, you can make it at home. Excellent. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Woohoo. Woo, that was exciting, everybody. And I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. And we do share videos from her Wednesday trainings onto our uh, Youngevity Down Under Facebook page. So again, you have the opportunity to follow her and find out more, whether it's personally or whether professionally you want to share her products. So in saying all that, we have a couple more testimony speakers. And this next speaker I want to share with everybody she is new to Longevity. She comes from Beanie You. She's a distributor that has achieved Rock Your Socks. She not only hit 300 Club, she hit 600 Club. She achieved CEO Qualified, and she's a senior sales associate all in her first month. So we are delighted to take the next 10 minutes and her share and highlight what she has done, why she's done it, and how she's done it. So. Bronwyn Clinton, congratulations and welcome to sharing. Just gonna unmute yourself there, Bronwyn. Are you there, gorgeous? I am. Yay! <laughs> now, now, now you've just blown me away. <laughs> well, we're really super proud of you for achieving everything you can achieve in your first month um, and getting started. So I believe everybody that's on this call right now would like to know what you've done and why you've done it. To be to totally honest, I have no idea how I achieved it. But anyway, <laughs> I just kept pushing. Um, probably drove you and Sean absolutely crazy in that first week. Um, like, okay, let's see. Let's let me start from the beginning. I don't know if you said um, I'm a wife of 39 years, close enough. I have four children and five grandchildren. I'm also a foster mum and our foster son that we have at the moment has been with us for eight years and he's 16, a eh, teenager. Um, I'm also an infant massage instructor, a JP. Um, I was a nurse until I was paralysed at 24. So that sort of brought that to a very abrupt end. Yeah, so, and a JP, yeah, I said that. And I also, in 2013, achieved my Bachelor of Commerce degree in Business Law from Open Universities Australia. Because I live in the bush, I have to study online, and I have to do everything online. So anyway, so when you guys, um, we came on board with you guys, um, I'm also dyslexic, and I have to use all my senses to learn anything. Okay, so I will watch lives over and over and over again. I will watch lots of things, and I, but I also have to read it, I have to touch it, I have to, to do it, you know, and I really have to watch people do things. So I, that's how I do it. 
And um, so when you guys um, brought all these things out, and I go, oh, my head, it's too much. <laughs> Did the rock sucks. Well, I dragged my niece, who's my sponsor, into that, and I said, you're doing this. We're going to go with this together. So that was pretty awesome. So we pushed and pushed. Um, I thought, well, yeah, I'm going to do that, even though we don't wear a lot of socks here in Aussie. Um, but I figure that if, if I expect my team to do it, I have to do it. And I find the best way to, to learn something is to do it. So I also then um, decided, well, even though we were told we didn't need to buy the CEO pack, I thought, you know what? I need to do this. I need to buy it because if I want to expect new people to buy it, I need to buy it. And apart from the fact I wanted to try all the products and you can't get them quick enough, um, I also, um, when I was looking through the CEO packs, we were all, all, already about to run out of a lot of our cleaning products. And because of the bushfires um, that affected our area hugely, the air, and I am a bit of an asthmatic as well, um, I wanted to clean the air. And when I saw there was a Nature's Direct one, I thought, oh, no question, I'm not going with the, with the family pack now, I'm going with this, <laughs> and got that one. Um, then a little, within a couple of days of that, I also, I said to my husband, um, we need the, the anti-aging one because, you know, we're not, I'm actually 60, he's 64, but anyway. But he's had a lot of health issues. We both have actually a lot of health issues. Um, so I wanted him to get onto that. And he, he, he was really, I didn't say, I'm going to buy this for you. I said to him, this is what I need to do. And this is after hours with a live with um, Sean. Sean and I had a video chat um, about this. I said, this is what I need to build my business and he knows we need this for our retirement because I'm going to be very blunt here. All our retirement fund has gone on raising our foster child to be a good citizen and not just be left on the shelf. So we need to build this um, for our retirement, simple, plain and simple. We need to build this so I can come and visit my grandkids as often as I like because they all live in the state, as do my children bar one and um yeah so i said to him how about i you know would you be okay if i bought you the ceo pack the anti-aging one because we wanted those products too we saw the benefit in them and he said yes <laughs> i didn't i didn't do it i would if he said no i wouldn't have i wouldn't have encouraged him to get it so yeah that helped um and then our foster son, he's 16, and he's, he actually promotes my nails <laughs> to all his friends and tells them they should get their mother to buy my nails. <laughs> so Sean said that he could do this too, and he's really excited because he's not long started a part-time job before and after school. So he also decided to come on board as a just a preferred customer at this point in time because we I don't want him to build a business until he's finished school, okay? So yeah, and um that's part of the you know, part of it. And I just yeah, the, the you can't expect people to do it if you don't do it. Um I'm you're doing, doing a great you're doing a great job. So as a final question, yeah because you have been committed, you're on every call, zoom, training and ask great questions. And I feel the results are showing because of your yeah. commitment. And I just really want you to say how much we recognize that. So my final question is, is, what is it that you're loving the most before we move on? What are you loving about the most about longevity? Um, the people. I do love the products. I love our Benny products. I will always love our Benny products. So don't, you know, don't, don't think I'm jumping ship or anything. But I just loved the fact that the... Well, we're on the same ship now, darling. <laughs> That's right. So 
I'm just loving the fact that it's it's opened my um, customer base. Yeah. It, 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 like my husband before, okay, he liked the, our drinks and stuff, but it's, it's just given me a whole new world of customers. And I liken my longevity um, as like, longevity is my shopping mall. Mm. And all the different companies, all the different that are like Benny U that have and Nature Street and all that, they are my shops in my shopping mall. So I have an online shopping mall and you can shop at any of my shops. Brilliant. So that's what I love is the fact that I might just love everything, but the fact that I can, you know, I don't have to buy the same thing all over and over again. I can and I do. But that's well, I love I mean. it that you can keep the money in the table in the family and your enthusiasm totally outshines and i'm certainly ap appreciate you sharing with us so thank you so much Brian. well done well done oh, you've done an amazing you. job in one month you've done really really well well done yeah i just got to keep it up and with fibro nalgia hitting me sometimes and yeah i sometimes just, honey just keep doing your best and keep moving <laughs> forward and stay focused and stay committed to being on the calls and the events so we really appreciate yeah i that. love it and that's how i learn <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. Thanks, yes. Bronwyn. Thank you, Bronwyn. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. Okay. Well, in sharing these wonderful stories of achievement, um, here to share with us who's achieved our newest level of one star, and we're incredibly proud of her, and I'm just really happy that she's committed to being on this call with us and sharing what it is that she loves about being a leader in the company. Uh, why she chose this industry, and more importantly, what she's enjoying about longevity. So, Tamara Slade, congratulations on being a one star. Thanks, Tracy. Can you guys hear me? Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. Awesome. Hi, guys. Those of you who have um, been on this call since the beginning, I think you guys are amazing. It has been, what, almost three hours now, and you are still here. So I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet and hopefully you will get something productive out of it. Um, so I just want to give you a little bit of a background about who I am for those who don't know me. My name is Tamara Slade and I am proud to say that I am a network marketing professional. It took me a few years to get to that point, but when people ask me what I do now, I say I'm a network marketing professional and they're like, oh cool, what's that? And so I talked to them a little bit about running a team, managing people, business people, and they're like, oh, that sounds like really exciting and interesting. And if I ever bring the concept or the term direct sales or um, multi-level marketing in, they start to shut down. So start using that. That's my first tip for the day. Talk about being a network marketing professional because people actually like that term here in Australia, which is pretty amazing. So I didn't always work in this industry. My background is I am a high school science teacher. I used to blow stuff up for a living and that is a big change to doing that and coming here. Um, I never actually would have thought, I did seven years of university, I never would have thought that I would have pushed aside my, my training and my degree and started working in this industry but I don't think I ever want to go anywhere else now. I love it so much. Um, so what happened was I was on maternity leave with my youngest son and I was at the time a recovering nail bar junkie and was attempting to do my nails myself with my own like low toxin or non-toxin products. I don't know if you guys have ever tried those low toxin nail polishes, but they pretty much wash up in the first time you do your dishes after your nails it was wasn't working for me but I was persisting because I had learned a little bit about the toxins in nail products and then all of a sudden these amazing images flashed across my screen and I was hooked it was like funky nail designs and they kept saying non-toxic and no chipping and no dry time and it was just hooked me right in. And so I started with, you know, one design in my cart thinking, oh, I'm on maternity leave. I'm going to be economical. I'll just get one design, see what it's like. And I went from having that one design in my cart to having four, because when you buy three, you get the fourth for free. So I had to save money, right? 
So I had four designs in my car and I thought, if I'm trying a new product, I'm getting new tools. So I had the application kit with the, um, with the nail oil and then I had the mini heater and then I was like, oh, well, I need a coordinating nail polish. And if they say these are non-toxic, then I have to get a, a nail polish as well. And by the end of it, it was cheaper for me to buy the distributor kit than it was to actually process my car. So I did that and within half an hour, so I did that on, it was 9.30 at night on a Sunday evening when I did that and half an hour later, my sponsor just convinced me that I should start a business. So I did everything wrong. I created a Facebook group. I added 250 of my closest friends and family to this Facebook group without asking their permission, mind you. And I started spamming them with nail images and um, product information. And I think I went until two o'clock in the morning posting all this stuff on, in my new business group. And then I finally fell asleep and I woke up to about, I don't know, six, $800 worth of orders that had automatically gone through my website. And I was like, man, this like selling stuff online business is so cool. And it was a rush. And from that point, I was hooked. Now, very early on in the beginning, I became what I often refer to myself as an accidental leader. Like I wasn't even trying to build a team. These girls were joining my team left, right and center. And we were, we had like, I don't know. I think I had, uh, I think it was something like 20 people joined my team in the first month. Um, and it, it just grew from there because as you know, exponentially, the more people you've got recruiting people, it just grows. And, um, and I had no idea, like I was a high school science teacher. I had no idea how to be a leader. It was completely out of my um, comfort zone. Sorry. My five-year-old is having difficulties getting through the front door. And, um, it was completely out of my comfort zone and I had no idea how to lead these people. I was telling them, just do what I do. Come watch me run an online party and then do what I do. But unfortunately, I found it easy to sell and close the sale. And I found it easy to get people to book parties with me, whether they're online or in home. And I found it easy to, to get people to join my team. And I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what it was that was causing them to do all of that. So I couldn't teach that to my downline. So I wanted to share with you a, a, a couple of things this morning, uh, so, sorry, this afternoon about um, what I've learned about being a leader. And hopefully you can take that away and it can be helpful for you. So one of the first things I learned really quickly is um, what works for me doesn't necessarily work for my team. Can you all still hear me? Hear me? Can you go close the door, please? Close the door. Close the door. Close the door, please. Close the door. Close the door. Sorry. Um, um, Another thing I learned is that you have to be real sometimes and the five-year-olds will often walk in when you're trying to do a presentation and just go talk to daddy. He's in the other room. Talk to daddy. And the five-year-olds will also go past the other, the other parent, walk up the stairs to you when you're doing a live video at nighttime and come and ask you to open their yogurt. Anyway, um, things that I've learned. So Bob Heilig, do you know that name? If you're on my team or if you've, or if you're with Jamberry or um, Ben, you, then you'll probably have heard me speak about him before. He's a network marketing professional and he runs um, leadership legacy leadership. I think it is, which is an Academy. So Bob Heilig has this quote, which I love. And when I first heard it, it smacked me in the face. Um, he says, if what works for you doesn't work for your team, then quite frankly, it doesn't work. And that really just like went home for me. That was like, I sat with that quote for so long because so much of what I do works for me, but it wasn't working for my team. And I could see that I was consistently having high sales, consistently having high um, recruits, but my team were not. So what I was doing was not working for the team. So the first thing I had to learn about being a leader was trying to work out what worked for my team and helping them to duplicate it month in and month out. Um, so whether it be, you know, running events for them or um, spending time with them, I had to work out what worked for them. That was the first thing I learned. The second thing I learned was I needed a support system. And it couldn't always be my downline and not necessarily my family because they didn't understand the things that I was going through. So I have been super blessed 
over the last four years to have a whole bunch of women supporting me. And I have called them my battle buddies. Um, names like Lisa Wilson, Holly Connors, Sam Whiting, Annette Harvey, Carrie Present, Nikki Morris. These women are women that you're going to hear from because they're going to uh, be in the leadership levels very soon. So you'll know and you'll hear from them and they are phenomenal women. So you, so the, the point number two is you need to find a support system. They don't have to be in your upline. They don't have to be in your downline. Sideline is great, but get them, find them, find those people, find people who are like-minded, have similar goals to you and then talk to them every day. That's um, point number two. Number three, and Bronwyn touched on this, never ask your team to do something that you yourself aren't willing to do. Every business activity that I suggest or advise my team to participate in is an activity that I am either currently doing in my business or that I have done. And I know that I have the resources to provide the support to give them the opportunities to learn those skills. So, um, you and, and Bronwyn touched on that brilliant, so I don't really need to say any more about that, but you need to make sure that you don't. I had one upline, just a slight aside, I had one upline once who told me that I should go to the industrial areas of my, um, my, lo my local industrial area, you know, where there's like guys who, blokes who are mechanics and, and um, panel beating shops and spray painters and all these like, and take a basket of, of products that they could purchase for their wives for Christmas. And I was like, ooh, okay, good idea. So I made this up. My team will know it because I documented my journey doing this. I made up this amazing basket full of things that they could purchase from me on the spot and took it around to the this industrial area. Guys, it was the most soul-destroying activity I have ever done in my business. Not one person bought anything. And not only that, I was laughed out of some of these mechanic shops. And I have discovered that there are some um, receptionists in these mechanic shops and uh, warehouses that are like gatekeepers and they will not let you through at all. So I videoed the whole process of me doing this for my team. And in the end, I said, don't ever do this so that's that was one of my points never ask them to do something that you haven't tried to do yourself and succeeded in oh oh i set myself a 10 minute timer and i've hit it already i'm so sorry can i take a few more minutes tracy or is it too am i too late you have, you can have a couple more minutes darling it's too good and too exciting so go okay. for it darling Okay, so that was number three. Number four, um, there is great value in helping your team build a customer base before they build a team. Um, I know that this new comp plan, like we're compl we are, we've got a new comp plan here. So this new comp plan is completely different to what we've ever experienced in the last four years. And you do have the ability to build preferred customers as your team members, um, which is great. But even with that new ability, there is such a great sense of success and pride for both you and your team members when they can can confidently say that they have a consistent 10, 15, 20 customers that they are looking after and providing excellent customer service to purchasing month in, month out. Um, so that's number four. Number five, it can take between seven and 12 exposures to a product or a business before people will invest in what you've got to offer. And if you as a leader can develop systems, events, opportunities for your team to help them bring their leads to and participate in seven to ten exposures they will love you forever so i'm talking you know coffee chats in-home events online presentations game nights we used to do this thing where we would get all of our team would would invite their their online customers to a game night and we would run like 15 games over the course of an hour and a half and in between those games we'd be posting up you know bundles and specials and things like that and it was great. People won prizes and people actually bought stuff. Um, so games nights, three-way phone calls, three-way group chats, anything you can think of that is an exposing um, somebody to a product or a business opportunity is great. And if you can provide that for your team as a leader, then you will see success. Um, and then the last one, number six, if you can become the type of leader that you wish you had, you will have arrived basically. Um, some of us are blessed with amazing leaders above us and some of us don't have anybody really working the business anymore, especially after two company takeovers. So 
Eric Worre says often that the most successful people in network marketing are the ones who sack their upline, the ones who fire their upline. You fire your upline when you have only yourself to rely upon, you will see your skill set grow abundantly. Um, so work out what type of leader you wish you had or you want to have, or you know, maybe you already have that type of leader. Work out what the qualities are that that leader has that attracts you and then figure out how to do it and, and go with it. Um, the last thing Dracy asked me to share is some of the things that I am excited about with our move to longevity. There's so many things I'm excited about, but the biggest one is, um, is having the ability to have the backing behind us. You know, we've gone from pretty strong company to a relatively weak company, and now we're back in a strong company again. And the, the, our, I have more of a hope for the future for us today than I have had in the last 18 months. And it's super exciting to have um, people. I cannot thank Sean Brown enough. Like he has handled my freak outs and, um, and been so available and present to us. And it's great. So, you know, we've got such an awesome um, corporate team helping us out. And I just think we've got, you know, nothing to lose and absolutely everything to gain. Um, so thanks guys for listening to me. I'm sorry, I took a few minutes extra. Well done. Well done. Well done. We're well done. super stoked to have you share that, Tamara, and thank you for taking the time. Great tips, and I bet everybody's head is absolutely spinning from our day. So we just want to say thank you guys, everybody, for taking the time. Please share in the chat what you loved about what you got out of today. You know, thank the speaker that resonated to you, please, because this chat is something that we record, we print, we give to our customer service team, we work in our marketing department, how we can better serve you. So uh, again, a very special thank you. Now I have a special little video from JC and Lilia, but because our time is coming to an end, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to post it on our Facebook page after this, and I want you to watch it, and I want you to comment what you got out of today's event on here. And because of that, then we want you guys to be able to have the opportunity to register yourselves for JC and Lilia because we're so super excited about them coming at the end of May. And uh, we want you guys th to be there and be present. So we're going to be in Sydney, in Brisbane, or sorry, in Gold Coast and in New Zealand at the end of May. And we're really going to make it an exciting event of lots of training and support for you guys. But as we finish off, we just want to recap the day um, that we have here for you. So it's been a great day. Yes. It's a long three hours on a Saturday afternoon or early evening in New Zealand. But just what we were really stoked to be able to do was to congratulate all the fabulous distributors we've got that have upranked the biggest list we've ever had. And that's just incredibly awesome. And you did a good job reading out all the names, which is... <laughs> Not easy. Um, we talked about some new products that we had, uh, the hot chocolate keto and a number of new makeups. And that list will be published. Tracy will put that on the Facebook over the next week as they become available for purchase. We thank Deb Flanagan very much for her talk on Nature Direct and sharing her beautiful grandson, Ethan, uh, showing us how to use the mop. We uh, appreciate Michelle Graham talking to us about how to achieve the car bonus, because as she would have said, uh, the way in which you can get that is now a little easier and getting that extra money is something that how you set up your business will help you do get each and every month. Scott and Juliet, obviously fantastic. And wow, that why to go app is uh, certainly very, very <laughs> uh, more than what we thought it was that we've mm -hmm. learned off Scott and Juliet today. Leanne gave us a great talk about how wonderful the aroma share was and earlier we shared with you that the first 10 people from now that email customer service to join up with the aroma share will get an extra free oil in their first aroma share basket that comes out. Bronwyn, you did an amazing first month, well done. You, it's not, not easy from out in the bush and you did really, really well. <laughs> so well done. And of course, Tamara, inspiring talk. And if, if everyone could get a little bit of your enthusiasm, everyone would be doing 
Fantastic. So well done. Thank you very much. And Joyce, are you going to recap on some of the other things? Oh, Joanne, I just love doing our Super Saturdays together. <laughs> so we just want to say we're here today now for the next uh, few days working on the future and strategizing our plan uh, for what we have coming up. So we just want you guys to know we're here working hard. I just want to remind everybody about the t-shirts. If you want to get that t-shirt to get that t-shirt ordered in and to watch for the first Friday of the month so you can see what our new fashion Friday is going to be all about and again the highlighting the 300 club that the free shipping um, as well as getting the first customers and the distributor to get the laundry bag so an email will be going out tomorrow highlighting uh, the promotions and the specials but we do want you guys to know that the US kickoff call is uh, 9 a.m. on their Monday which is like 3 a.m. for us some of us here in Australia. So Tuesday morning, I will do a recap Facebook Live on what's available, what we are doing to support uh, the US in what they will be launching. So that'll be 9 a.m. on our Tuesday, Brisbane time. Don't forget Thursday night is 100% better and well for uh, financial literacy. And I will do a Facebook Live that Thursday at five. So a live at five on Thursday as a recap follow-up of what we're doing. So And look out for amazing scrapbook deals which are coming over the next week. Oh, brilliant. Yes, thanks for that reminder. So I think we've hit it all. And we've done it. And it's one minute to three o'clock. So high five, Joanne. <laughs> so stay tuned for March Madness, everybody. And the uh, caffeine alertness, I think caffeine awareness is going to be the theme for the month of March. So a big special thank you, everybody. Oh, and a final uh, draw. So Joanne, we got our, our list here of our people who did their posts. Sorry, we got all the names here. And we did it. I'll pick it out. You and pick you, it you out. Read it. Yep. And we have Heather McCheeran as a winner for the 90 for Life pack. So, Gretchen, sorry, Heather McGreechen for sharing well done, her test testimony. So well thank done. you, Heather, we'll get that organized for you. And everybody, if you still got some testimonies, please share. Mwah. Thank you guys and have a great weekend. And thanks again, congratulations. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Bye. Thanks so much. Yay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, chubby bubby.